What's up, friends? Welcome back to IEN Friends. Um, I take back all the comments I made yesterday. I, I apologize. I am. I think uh, the world is exactly what we think it is, and there's no such thing as reptilians, or there's no such thing as as Lou or Loth, or I can't. I don't even remember. They're what on it was. to you, huh? I don't know. What, I don't. I don't him. know. Like what happened last week? You. I don't know who that was. You know, I. I think. Uh, that person is dead. I mean, he's that person. That old soul. Is, uh, <laughs> that old soul's with the lizards. He was. He was just the prime. Something. Someone put something in that prime, and that's not who he was. You know. But this is the real me. Hundred percent. This is the real me. Can you stand up? We got to measure you. Hundred percent. We got to measure you. You looked a little tall. That's why I said he was a little bit bigger in his chair. Yeah. Why? Because it's not him. Because I've been no, cloned. no, it's him. It's him. I've been cloned. A Forty pound bot. It's AI. Like, it's fine. He's not even here actually anymore. No, I'm him. doing AI. That's him. That's him. How do you know it's him? Because I can tell. It's just. Let's so just ask him a question. Yeah, and see. It's, it's, it's me. Him, it's me. We don't need to ask, <laughs> ask any more questions. <laughs> let's ask him one question. I am no, Saul. No, no, no. I think we know it's him. I, I am Saul Vince Gomez. Let's see. This Saul would never. What? He would never. He knows what answer to give me here. What? <laughs> what? Oh, I think I'll break you. Do you know the day of the LGBTQ parade? I do actually. You do. Yeah. When it's is... March seventeenth. It's not him. What? That's it's that's not common him. That's common knowledge. It's not him. That's common knowledge. Everybody it's not knows him. that. No, I agree with him. That's the date. <laughs> that's the date. No, he's right. Isn't it? March? That's St. Patrick's Day. Oh, same. That's St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's the day I get gay because I'm drunk as fuck. <laughs> oh fuck, pause. <laughs> After the marathon? I'm just kidding. I won't be able to move my legs we for are, two reasons. What's you running? Is the half marathon this weekend? That's this Sunday. That's this Sunday? Yeah. Where's that at? That's at the Rose Bowl. Ooh, how you feeling? Are you excited? Are you Easy. nervous? Are we nah. going to go? Sunday? I'm excited. Yeah. Well, what time is it at? Uh, like at... Hmm. I don't know. I got the email today. You don't know what time you're running it? I just know what time I'm going to finish it. Well, I'm just going to show up. <laughs> yeah. It's because, I, I mean, I'm, it's probably, I know it's early, but I don't know how early. Okay. Mm. What's happening? It's happening. If you guys are at the Rose Bowl, pull Rose up. Rose Bowl, rain or shine. Come uh, watch. Uh, it starts at 9. 9 a.m.? 9 a.m. Yeah. No, no, no. 9 a.m. And it ends at 4. God damn. Wow. What was so you have from 9 bro, to no, 4 to run your marathon? I'm going to take like an hour and a half. It takes an like hour and a half? Marathon. That's cool. I guess some people do walk it. Yeah, 9 to 4. I mean, yeah. And like, I mean, there's people that, you know, well, can't really run. Yeah. Like they might be like in a wheelchair or something, so they roll it. That's a that, that's cheating. Is that cheating? Yeah, is there, are there people in in wheelchairs doing marathons? Yeah, bro, your arms gonna get tired. But dog, that, just do one walk. <laughs> fuck it. It's not gonna what be all downhill, hell, bro. What if it's uphill? I don't know. There's no way. There was like, there wasn't people on wheelchairs, bro. <laughs> I I like there no. There's like, no I wheelchairs, like there right? Like there right? Marathons, dog, those aren't wheelchairs. Those aren't those aren't marathons. Special Olympics. They're like no. kart, go kart races. Yeah, it's like oh, in the Red Bull. <laughs> They're like the Red Bull go karting and shit. Okay, I was about to say, there's no way there's no. no I, don't, I, don't, they, I didn't see anyone in a wheelchair. I did, there is people in strollers, bro. That's like, so cool. they take their babies. They take and they're passing you. They're running Dog. faster. Imagine how imagine dope. how much weight you're pushing on that, and they're you're passing you. Bro, does the baby sad. get a medal? No. Nah. Why not? Because they're in the best. But what if the baby paid for the marathon? They don't. I don't think they charge babies. Well, what if like I want to pay so he gets so a, he medal gets a well? fucking medal i think that baby will need to take some steps what if they make him walk the final steps like you start right, want you like you start like the first 10 steps and then yeah. you put it back in the stroller and then you take them out and then they take fit, a couple steps and, and you run this yeah. push your baby to the finish line yeah <laughs> that'd be cool well, kick him a little, yeah, that, a little, kick little in. step yeah, that'll be really cool yeah bro it kind of it's kind of funny when you see them passing you with a wheelchair but i don't think it's fair Wheelchair? Not wheelchairs. <laughs> I mean, uh, strollers? Uh, strollers, yeah, because like it's something you love is in there, so it pushes you to keep going more uh, and more, and you have it there looking yeah, at you. Yeah, but it's yeah. also a disadvantage because you got to push a fucking stroller. But or, an object in the motion tends to stay in motion. What if the baby uh, takes so a shit? Going. What if he takes a shit? And it gets shit. heavier and it goes lower. Yeah, the baby can take a shit. He takes a shit, he starts crying, he gets sunburned. That's it's sh- actually a horrible place to put a baby Yeah, through. I wouldn't be able to run the whole marathon with the baby. How long is the average marathon? Like how, how long do people take? How many oh, miles yeah. are you guys running? There's a ha- the one coming up is a half marathon, so that's only thirteen point one. What's so, how long does it take to run a full marathon? Twenty six point two miles. Twenty six point two miles a full marathon. People that don't run, uh, like it's their first marathon, like four hours and more. Yeah, yeah imagine yeah. putting your baby four hours in a stroller. That's crazy. Sunburnt. Your sweats just running down his face. Yeah. 
I had a home. I have a homie actually. He just completed a 50 mile marathon. Oh, I seen that, Ivan. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that insane? That's crazy. Motherfucker, they, they recorded him finishing the finish line. Finishing the finish line. Finishing the finish line. <laughs> Running across the finish line. And dude did not look tired at all. He looked unfazed. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, he's like, ha ha ha. I was like, what the dog? You ran 50 miles. It's 2 a.m. What is what's going on? Shit's crazy. Do you know how long it took to wear? No, I don't know how long it took. I think he ended up in uh like around Temecula or some like south. I think he started somewhere up here and then went down towards like it was an actual event too. Yeah, it's called yeah. the Ultra. Yeah, in the Ultra Thon. Fuck, dude. I, yeah, motherfuckers are wild, bro. I mean, I saw this documentary on um on YouTube. It's called the uh, Iceman, the first Iceman. So there's Ironmans, and now this guy did it in an in an uh, Antarctica. I don't want to start. I don't want to start with you guys. He did because like, you're this. I don't even want to. What? 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 I don't even want to talk about this. What? 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 Let me see. It's by Yes Theory. And yes, theory, I've been watching for like five, six years. Yeah, they sponsored him to yeah, like do and that. I, I, I told everybody a long time ago that this dude is running the, a marathon in Antarctica and nobody paid but attention. Did, no, but one, you didn't say no, an one, Iceman. no one bat because there wasn't really a, a name yet. It was just like a because I that's like the first Iceman, so I think he just did it. He created he created it, yeah. the name. But I was like, Oh, you guys gotta watch yes theory. I told Stephanie too. I would always tell Steph, I was like, yo, watch <laughs> watch yes theory is so dope. Um, I'm pretty sure I've showed you Yes Theory, I never, but literally I would. All, I, I'm pretty sure I put all my homies onto Yes Theory, but that wasn't Yes Theory. Like, yeah, it was that's, produced that's just, by them, but it's Yes. The theory. idea was that guys, but it's he was a fan of Yes Theory, and they sponsored it, right? And uh, it's a whole Yes Theory move. It's a part of the whole thing. But yes, I get it. That's I'm just salty. You're salty. I'm just salty. I told everybody a long time ago, nobody pay yeah, attention. Yeah, it's to like me. it's like it's and like now and now Carlos from Yo Sabo tells everybody, oh, watch <laughs> Yes Theory, and now they do it. <laughs> Carlos listening to this like, yeah, he did. I I clicked the link. It was good though. It was yeah, like, I, I just it. the way that the documentary was made. There was a lot of talking. Yeah. I wanted to see him like struggling. You know? yeah, I wanted to yeah. see, like I don't go fuck about. It your was kind of slow at the beginning. Yeah. Man. How many miles is he running? Then? The twenty six. So he runs a marathon. Then he biked. He had to bike a fuckload of like kilometers. I don't know how much a triathlon kilometers in, in the snow. And he had in to swim in fucking water in that water, bro. With the polar bears. With the polar bears and the and the penguins, ooh, ooh, ooh. the seals, the seals and shit. The orcas. Yeah, that's crazy, bro. Like, would you be able to put your body through something similar? No. I think the marathon might be the hardest thing I've done. That's dope as fuck, though. Like I did the I did the the, the Spartan run, run. Oh, the, the Spartan, Spartan run. run. That was fun, but it wasn't. I don't think it was as hard as this is gonna be. I feel the Spartan run is more of just like it's challenging, but I think just because there's a new thing in every like there's like little it's like checkpoints. Just, it's mm-hmm. not just running. It's That's it's easier I mean. on the mind, even though it's tiring as fuck. You're like, oh, there's yeah. that checkpoint. There's that checkpoint. Yeah. Crawling, it's climbing, and then you're yeah. waiting, so Lifting you're like weights. Yeah. catching your breath and stuff. And you marathon, you're just. That. Straight. Have you seen the Boston Marathon the, outline? That's crazy. That when it just goes to New York, like from the the aerial view, that is crazy. You have to qualify for that. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. What is that marathon that you that leads that ends at Santa Monica Pier? There's one. That, it's like a very, it's a very long the LA marathon. marathon. The LA Marathon. Is it the LA Marathon? Yeah. Where do you start from? LA. Well, that's Somewhere I don't know. I haven't. I have How many really... miles is that? Is that literally just a regular marathon? Regular or is it more marathon. than that? They're in twenty six point twenty six. Oh, okay. I'm yeah. Gonna say. Y- y'all don't want to do one next year. I, I think I will. But the thing is, you won't train for it up until like three months before. You don't think so? I don't think so. I mean, there's training that you can do. Uh huh. Like all it, I gotta do is just condition myself to just like running. Yeah. I did go run. I did go running with Steph, and I. I feel you beat like, her, huh? Um, it kind of. I don't want to say <laughs> Damn, I did, Steph. but I did get to the end before her. But what you can argue. On you? What if she just took it easy on you? Yeah, you can argue. Whatever you want to argue, but all I want to say I'm is, not arguing. is I made it to the end before her. I don't know if that means finishing before you. I don't know what I don't know the rules. Mm-hmm. At least you didn't finish last, but I I finished before her. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Um, but you know, I think that's when I got my first runner's high, like my little first like introduction How did to it, feel? it. It was interesting because um, now like it was going up the mountain was pretty hard, but literally going down the mountain, I didn't even stop. And then um, my song changed to Tu Carcel by um, Enanitos Verdes. Mm. And I was just feeling it. I, I was feeling that song. I was like, Starting oh, yeah. Carlton when you're running and shit? Or no, no. I was just, I was going. And in my head, I was like, I'm going to get to the bottom before this song's over. And then um, I felt the song like coming to an end. And I just started going faster and faster. And I was pushing myself. But at that time, I was just like automatically locked in. I wasn't really thinking. And then I made it to the bottom. And at the end of the song, there's cheering. They're like, ah. And I was like, ah. 
Oh my god, felt like you finished an ultra. <laughs> that ends. Like this is how it ends. Watch. I was it felt so cool. I was like, this is dope. I want to go running again. Watch. This is this the ending. Do you oh hold on. <laughs> I just I'm gonna put jumping. that at Bro, the end. I can imagine him just jumping in the air. I literally that. made it to the end at that point where I said, like, ah! and I was like, yeah, I was like, yeah, this was this was cool. And I saw Steph all the way up there. I was like, oh, what the fuck? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> just still at the cross? Yeah, it's just at the cross. What was that? Uh, do you ever happen to run faster on beat drops when you're listening to EDM? Bro, yes. Right? Yes. yes. I don't know what it is. Five more and hours the, by Dioro. That one gets that me. That one goes yeah. hard. There's yeah. there's this there's this like EDM song. And it, it's kind of it gets kind of sassy. Like the girl says something kind of sad, and like minute, maybe a minute in, yeah. she was like, "I never meant to stop loving you." Or something like really sad, Damn. and then the beat just wow, like, I need that. And song. I was running with this girl last weekend at Santa Monica. Oh, you told me. <laughs> and that fucking beat hit, and I just see myself just go, <sighs> start crying for like shit. three minutes straight. I'm going like at like my fastest speed, just hauling ass. I finish, and I'm just like, <sighs> it's like you really took off. I was like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I did. You're like, I felt I felt connection with you, and I was like, nah, fuck that connection. <laughs> yeah. I need to leave. I need to leave. I want her back. Uh, no! Uh, You're not the one I The song is sick. Here, I'll put you guys on yeah, right send now. It, send it, send it. Uh, yeah. well, yeah, the, other, the other time when I did that four mile run before mm -hmm. I went to Vegas. Four mile run? Yeah, dude. There's Damn. this street that I, there's this streets that lead to a stop, to a stoplight that from there and back is four and a half miles to my house. Jeez. Mm -hmm. So I did that run because. I was already too late for me to go to the gym and do my normal shit. So I was like, I'm just going to go for like a run. And I mapped it. I looked on maps how long it was. And I was like, oh, four and a half. Cool. Let me do it. Did it. And I caught, I just mainly just had a Calvin Harris playing. So like, you know, he has a bunch of bangers bum, that bum, just get yeah, you going, right? High RPMs. And for some reason, I had just the song Sweet Nothing mainly more on repeat than the other ones. So sweet nothing's the one that got me through it because I remember like anytime the beat would drop, it would just I was just like on a different. Yeah, it was like it's like if you're shifting. And yeah, shit. it's like when you downshift, your RPM yeah, just go up and you shoot. Yeah. Up. It just felt like I was like the, the, uh, until it hit the the um even if the beat dropped and I was going uphill, there is no shift. Bro, I thought I was going fast and I just realized I was just like <laughs> I was still going so slow even though I was trying my hardest because no, at that <laughs> point the way back my thighs the two miles there dude it was so it was so easy uh -huh. it felt really back. good two miles yeah because I went line? I did those two miles in like I think like 18 minutes right oh, shit, that was fast. and then on the way back I did like 30 mi 39 minutes in total because I did a lot longer on the way back because it was more uphill back and the you street, did 40 minutes for four miles 39 no, 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 no 39 minutes 39 something in um or 40 minutes in Something seconds in four minutes, four miles. That's and a half fast. Miles. That's a yeah. that's a ten mile pace. But I is I dropped off a lot in the last two because mm. the first two and a half was 18, 18, 18 59, That I remember that correctly. And then the last two and a half was uh whatever adds up to forty. You know whatever 28, 22 that's minutes. 20 something minutes. And the reason why is because it was all uphill. And I was thinking I was fucking gliding. And I was like, nah, bro, I was literally like in place or something. I was no, like yeah, running yeah. on fucking quicksand yeah. or something. When you see your reflection, it's humbling. Like, no. you're like, oh, I feel, I feel speed. Dude, no, my dad, I, I, at the end of that, I had shin splits. My fucking thighs were super heavy. I felt like I was wearing weights on my thighs. And right. All right. So the song is called Clouds by B U N T and then comma Nate Traveler. Trust me. All right. Clouds. We'll check that shit out. It's on my Spotify. Shout out to Spotify. Shout out, to Shout out to Spotify. If you guys aren't listening uh, on Spotify, go check out Spotify. Make sure to leave us a review. And while you're here, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. 80% of you guys are not subscribed. So. Damn. What the fuck? What the fuck going on? Fuck. Fucking freeloaders? You guys freeloading right now? Yeah. Frank gets paid here. But you just <laughs> you said you just saw a Society of the Snow. Yes. I mean, you haven't seen it, huh? Don't it's a really good movie. I did did you watch know. it in Spanish? Or? I watched it in Spanish. Yeah, you have to watch yeah, it. Yeah, you have to watch it in Spanish. It's about this rugby team from Uruguay, I yeah. believe. And they're taking a trip to go to... I can't they're remember. going to Chile. They're going to Chile. Oh, so it's the plane crash. So yeah. they're going over the Andes and they crash or whatever, right? So I was watching with my sister, yo, and I was like, would you, would you survive? Would you do? Because you watched it. Do you think you'd be one of the survivors, one of the 17? I think so. You think so? Why? I'm just built like that. But you get cold <laughs> easily. You tell me to turn off the AC in my car. I never thought about that. And Fuck. the window's up. Shit, you're right. He's into the back of the car and got a little I cold. I do get now. cold really <laughs> He's a little cold but now. I don't know. I'm just very, bro. I don't know. But you're thinking. You be thinking. Me, like, you know how um they they just they had a decision, like, are we gonna stay in the plane or are you are you gonna go or are you just gonna walk into the mountains? Uh-huh. You would have been like, let's walk to the mountains. Yeah, I'd be walk. What would you do? I would have I would have walked. I would have been one of the people that would have had to go because yeah, I, I just been, can't like, feel healthy. Yeah, I can't feel helpless. I hate that. Would you have ate someone? Yeah. Would you have ate the homies? 
It's the, yeah. Yeah. Because no. it was an honor. That was, they interviewed the dude and they said, um, how did you feel like eating your friends? And he says, it, uh, we didn't, we saw it as an honor. Like we're like, I can't do much for you anymore, but if I can help you survive, that's, that means the world to me. It's an honor for you to eat me. Mm. Isn't that crazy? That's crazy. Yeah. That, that mindset. I was like, the God. crazy ones were the, the guy was leaving the one with the, with the mom and the, the sister. And he was like, I give you guys my permission yeah. to eat my family. I was like, yo. Yeah. And it's wild the way, how good they made the meat look. Yeah. It look, it, it dead ass look like sashimi. I was like, huh? What have you been able to eat some of <laughs> They, they cut it so nice. Like, what, what the fuck they use? I don't know. They cut it so nice and they put it on the tray. That shit was like straight up sushi, right? Yeah, the dude, he was like, it's easier if you wrap it into a snowball and eat it. I was like, I'd eat it like that. Oh, Give me some chopsticks. A snowball? So you don't think about it's someone's flesh. You hide the flesh and you put it in a snowball and you eat it. I wonder what human people taste. Like. Nope. I already know that under that flesh, under that snowball is flesh anyway. But so. you're, but bro, you're, you're in, the, in the Andes Mountains. Think about this. Yeah, you're exactly. like, you're so like just, two months in. You got to eat it. Exactly. I don't think snow is going to help change your mind that you're eating somebody. So just. I don't think it changed your mind, but I think it helps you like swallow it quicker. Yeah, yeah it gives yeah. a texture. You're chewing at least instead of it being rubbery. Yeah. But then it just gets the, the meat cold. The meat's already cold. Oh, they ate it raw. How, well, I that's mean, what I was trying not, to figure I mean, out. It looked raw. I mean, they I had know. to eat it raw. Why didn't they cook it? Well, how? They had fire. Motherfuckers were smoking cigarettes the whole time. It's easy to light a cigarette because oxygen's right here, so it'll light up right away. Oh, they were really high up. They were really high up. Mm. That's why I kept, couldn't. I was like, I, was like I know it's not hard to make a fire, even if you're not like. No, because remember, like the whole time that they made a fire was when they were down there already. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, they were, yeah, yeah. So when you're right. high in the snow and you're at high altitude, it's really yeah, hard to create a fire. You're totally, correct, sir. you're totally correct, bro. I feel like a, I, I feel like because I've, I've like hiked in the snow, so like I saw that and I was like, yo, that's fucking crazy. Like these people really. Like, I don't know how 100% real it was, like, how they got, it's like... 100% real. I was like... It's a true story. Yeah, the dude, uh, because there's the survivors, they're still survivors, like, yeah. alive. Yeah. And he said Should that... get that, one on the pod. Imagine. Bring him flesh, see if he still reacts to it, uh, like a cannibal. Fuck. That'd be pretty fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> but um, he said... Fuck, what was that? <laughs> it looked like he was there. <laughs> what were you talking about? What did he say? Um, I was talking about the endurance that these people had and the yeah I totally forgot fuck where you where you say. going with this question I forgot what i was gonna say yeah that there's a guy that's still alive oh yeah so there's a guy that's still alive um that's where i was going with it but where was it <laughs> going with it? <laughs> loop it um i was saying and asking about yeah there's a guy the that's still snow, alive. being in the snow being in the snow walking in the snow how real it was oh yeah yeah how real it was he said that that movie because there's been plenty of movies before of that scenario mm -hmm. he said the netflix one captures uh the emotions the best and like the just how real it felt wow, he said man. that's the movie that felt so real and they asked him have you seen it he's like no i lived it why would i want to watch it yeah it gives you fucking ptsd <laughs> yeah. bro i was i yeah. was watching and i was like where's you then yeah why would you want to watch that again honestly when he's like i already lived it i know the exact it's gonna story. trigger your dreams and yeah. shit it's also like when when they talk about how he gets like, hungry when um uh world war ii veterans saw the scene in um uh, saving private ryan Mm -hmm. And they had to walk out because it was just like a very great depiction on what it was. And that wasn't like the, you know, 100%, but it was still like one of the more accurate. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, dude, why would you want to go back and vi revisit your fucking traumas? Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, shout our out, hardcore shout, traumas, shout bro. Shout out to World War II veterans. I, I, you ever see like the, like the D-Day videos? They're crazy, bro. <sighs> that shit's insane. Bro, that was suicide, <laughs> dog. That was fucking suicide. I don't get it, bro. That's just like. Imagine surviving and living. Imagine your being life. the first boat. Imagine surviving and then your grandkids doing TikTok dances, bro. <laughs> or their podcast. <laughs> or their podcast. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> nah, D Day. That's what I was call insane. fucking men. Yeah. With no choice sometimes though. And you know what's the wild part? Them motherfuckers were like 22, 23. Yeah, they, they were, were 19. They're younger 18. than us. Yeah. Some of them didn't even want to be there. They were dragged there. Yeah sad bro and it goes and it's so there's so much fuck shit what was the song um uh, technically if we were to go to war you guys would have to go huh not me i'm dual citizenship i'm out i'm going to mexico <laughs> i said like i was mexican first it's not like they cannot not prove that <laughs> well i'll be like well i'll just go back because i told my mom that the other day literally i think like two days ago because we we're talking about like war or anything or something fun dinner conversation and then i told her i was like well no they're just going to close the borders but you're like well you have a house just say you're going back to like that's your house and i was like oh i guess that's true i was like oh yeah i just live in mexico and you don't leave here they go yeah. they go pull up your sleeve 
Right. Pull up your sleeve. This shit. You don't got the real Mexican stamp. Uh, you might have, you, don't got that you might have a passport, but your, the stamp. Let me, yeah, let me see stamps. your shoulder, bud. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Come, Come here. here, man. Come let here. Let me see your shoulder. Get in the truck. Get in the oh, fucking yeah. truck. You're going to war. You guys can still get both of you can still be brought to war. Not nah. Taken. Yeah. Well, Not me. Your sisters can be dragged there too, but they're That's mainly their gonna fault. go for you. They're mainly gonna go for you. Oh, no, why? I'm weak. I'm the weakest link. I heard like trans. Both no, both brothers can be going. But if one of you dies, you what, the one who survives gets brought back automatically. Then why would it's I? A, it's a it's a it's a rule. I don't think I would go if I have two sisters. It's a law that yeah. If, his his uh, name ends right there. What do you mean? His his name. My lineage. His lineage. It ends. No, they'll still take you. So tell them. They don't know. It's Daniel only so when you have brothers and all of you go, and then they all die except for you. You get to be brought back. It's like basically like military law there's rule. someone watching that's a military getting so pissed right now yeah you no, that's an actual thing they're like aaron has no <laughs> idea what he's talking thing. about aaron, what, you're saying <laughs> what do you so what wrong. do you think what do you think the movie saving private ryan was about we'll find out we'll find out in the comments so let us know what do you think know the movie, what do you think the movie saving private ryan was about i haven't seen it i've never actually it was seen him movie. and his two or three <laughs> brothers they all died and he was the only one that survived and there's law that if there's a surviving brother in the family he gets to have to be brought back to the family that way not all brothers are dead I thought it was if you're the only mm, so if you're the son? survive if you're the surviving no if you're the surviving brother surviving son basically yes I thought of, it but it, but how can I be the surviving son if I'm the only son I'm how the only surviving keep track son of that well they have you guys enlisted I think I think Aaron's and then when you die I want to Google it I don't know but I want to find out in the comments <laughs> just Google you guys it right now prove me right down right down now below. prove no, me right. I but see why would comments. I go to I don't understand I don't think I go to war I would just say no like just straight up they're like well you're going to jail all right. I'm cool. Take me to jail for treason. But shout out to all the boys and the gals overseas. Yeah. I know we got a couple, a couple people out there. Yeah, shout, shout out to y'all. You have balls. You have way more balls than we do. I'll tell you that right now. Nah. <laughs> nah. Shut up. You just said you wouldn't go. What do you mean? Well, well, doesn't mean I'm not. Doesn't mean I'm scared. It's like why would I want to go to work? Why would I want to die? Because you're scared to die. And no, I'm not scared it, to die. It, it's it's literally a philosophical. If question. anything, I would have a lot. Do that? Of, I'd had a lot of. I'd have a lot of fun. Me personally. You're in your sociopathic. <laughs> what do you think would be your job if you You'd be war? scared if you heard fucking machine guns going all over dog, the Dog, you know where I'm from, dog? Oh, my God. You know what I had to go to sleep? I had to go to sleep to gunshots. In Ch the Chino? Sirens. In fucking Chino? <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, it's bad back there. It's bad down <laughs> there. You know what suits him? The sound of an AK-47 <laughs> being shot at the sky. Bop, 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 bop. Uh, Have you seen the dude? I think we talked about this the other day. Have you seen the dude who puts, like, sleeping noises on YouTube? It's like like... 10 hours long white noise and then he puts like gunshots pa, 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 pa. <laughs> like at the fourth hour <laughs> at the fourth hour <laughs> that's hilarious but yeah i don't I've, actually or, or i've always funny. i've always always wanted to be in the military no i swear why don't you do it no i'm not saying you i just said no nah, oh I but yeah it. i remember um i don't got the heart or the balls to do it no i was i, I was super wanted to be i even had like the, my pen pal in the military, he sent me a big ass box of a bunch of just bunch of badges, and then my badges with my name on it, and then he gave me some boots, gave me like a whole fucking uniform ready to go. Your pen pal was the U.S. government. It was uh some dude in the military. Mm -hmm. So I was like, Shout to him, man. Yeah. Did you meet him? No, I never met him. Do you know who he really was? Uh, his father. Yeah, his father was um the landlord of my uh my uncle's business. Like the office, the landlord, and then the land. It was the landlord's son. Oh, yeah. It wasn't like a recruiting officer, just <laughs> just waiting, nice, just, just, just playing grooming nice, me. Yeah. <laughs> just, just gro just grooming a little nice. Mexican. Here's boy. a Modern Warfare two game, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy. That yeah. I feel like Modern Warfare was like uh, all the the Call of Duty series was um, what's the word? Uh, so what happens when you drink a lot of prime? You forget things. Uh, propaganda mm. for people to join the military. Do you know what was a good propaganda? Uh, Fucking that movie with Tom Cruise. What was it? Oh, uh, Top Gun. Top, Top Gun, Gun, bro. Dead ass, bro. Remember when we left the movie theater? We were ready to sign. If there's a recruiter outside that that theater, I would have signed up. If I, if, up. if the moment I signed, he gave me a charger and says head straight to the base, I would go. Yeah. Get in my car and dip. Yeah. It's crazy how every movie like they have to win though, like in any movie, even if it's fictional. We yeah. have to win. Yeah, except for there was only one where I was surprised that it even ended the way it ended. It was Avatar, the first one. The last airbender? No. The fuck? Avatar. <laughs> the blue guy with the blue The one? blue people, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
That the the so military old. lost in that, that one. That movie, I've never understood those movies. Were great. That movie is just so. I just don't remember it. I remember watching it, but I don't remember. I, I remember that it. the military did lose because then yeah. they came back for the part two of the same movie. That was, that was surprising. I Avatar like, part two in water. Well, it's because it's, same it's based on concept. the people, on the on the blue people. Yeah, you can't right. kill them. No, they, yeah, they're not. Then, obviously, they're going to win. Well, they should do Avatar versus that? Avatar. Avatar Last Airbender versus the uh, blue Avatar people. Avatar, they would win. <laughs> yeah. Did you see the, the new uh, Fast and Furious? Does Vin Diesel finally have a cape? Nah, they're just they're going back to the roots, like Bro? the street racing stuff. Yeah, like one hundred percent. And Paul Walker is going to be in it. His brother, but Paul Walker, but as Paul Walker, yeah. So why uh, why was he gone the last four movies? <laughs> Technology. No, I know. That's what I'm saying. Like, what is yeah. what are they going to do? They're going to what? Is, what is their their? Well, he parted theory. ways, no? Yeah, 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 he did part of ways because he never died in the movie with Khalifa. Yeah, the song. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, I well, see that you was again. kind of a tribute, so that was yeah, him yeah. actually. Yeah, but, yeah. but in the series, okay, I don't so. think he ever actually died. Yeah, true. Imagine, bro, he, being, was, just, he was just gone. He just did. He was just chilling, right, vibing guys, off. I'm, yeah, back, I'm back from dead. Ten years in Mexico. Yeah. Fuck it. I yeah. You want to watch it? No. I thought you were a big. I say that shit all the time, but I go watch it. Yeah. With me and Fast and Furious, it's just fun to watch. I don't really care. Like it's not realistic. I just. It's a fun, it's entertaining. I, I know like it's explosions. A, I, I know for a lot of people, it's just a movie to turn your brain off and just. Yeah, you enjoy. need that. You need things to turn your brain off. Yeah. I just can't get into it anymore. I think the last one I ever watched fully, like from start to finish, was Furious 7, I think. Tokyo Drift was when I got my first boner. All the girls? Yeah. Fast, fast and Furious, like the Fast and the Furious and then Too Fast to Furious and not like those early ones. Got some baddies. That's some that baddies. that was really the reason we're horneados. Yeah, and that's the reason so like, many that's car why guys. I want to actually go to like actual car meets like that. Yeah, like those and be like, where are the women? Ever since then, I wanted lights under my cars. You should do it with this. That's one. why I do thinking it in GTA. It, thinking about it. That's what I do it in GTA. Oh, yeah. <laughs> thinking about it. Thinking of putting a, uh, a light under my car. And Neon blue lie. ones or what? Yeah, I'm thinking about it. <laughs> Put some speakers in the back. <laughs> Lower it. <laughs> Lower it. If anybody, uh, if anybody does, um, what is it called? Um, Hydraulics? I'm fucking forgetting all these words today. Uh, mat when you mat when you mat your car. What's it called? Rap. Anybody rap who it. raps cars, hey, hit me up. You rap GTA? my car. I need my car like matte black. I'm gonna lower that shit. Put some lights under it. Put an exhaust. What type of lights under? Put like green, like neon green. Yeah. I bring it. it I heal my inner child. You'll heal your inner GTA 5. Yeah. I feel like you'd hate yourself. Yeah. No, nah, you know what's mind. better than uh, the best car game people be sleeping on? People be forgetting? Need for Speed? Need for Speed? Nah. What? Gran nah. Turismo? Nah. Forza? Midnight City. Ooh, Midnight Club. Midnight Club. Uh, Midnight Club. Dub Edition. Dub Edition. That was a banger that on the PS2. That, that game, was, game was Yes. Hell yeah. I can literally feel what I felt. I think I always... <laughs> you know how they make you start off with the car? I think I always start off with the Eclipse. The Eclipse. Yeah, always Ever since Eclipse. that, I've always wanted Eclipse because of that game. Yeah. But that game was just so beautiful. So goaded. I remember just hitting the ramps off the bridges and... And then plus the motorcycles, always racing the motorcycles and getting pissed yeah. I couldn't win. It's just a good time. Good Those times. were good days. The good, good old days, days on the PlayStation 2s. No, no worries. No bills. No bills. No, no drama. responsibilities. No nothing. All you had to do was worry about homework. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't do even that do that shit. <laughs> yeah. I was like, what? I didn't even do I didn't that. Even do that shit. Damn, Damn, dude. Is Society of the Snow like a number one movie right now on yeah. Netflix? Good. I think, I, think good. It, I think it's top. It's good. top. I'm not going to lie. I didn't hear that it came out or anything. You should watch um, it. You'll like it. I I will now because I didn't know what it was until you guys started talking about it. I'm like, oh, dope. Because yeah. I have heard about, um, mm -hmm. you know, like you watch those YouTube videos about like the top 20 most tragedy strategies in sports or something like that. And that, that one's crazy that though. That comes out. That one comes out. I remember that's when you said the, when you said the Uruguay going to Chile for a rugby match. I was like, yeah, that oh, the plane crashed in the mountains. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Mm -hmm. um, now I'm saying that because you know how recently Kevin Hart's movie came out. Oh, Lift. Lift, or Lift. I think that Lift. one's number one. But like Netflix they just said it was number him. one and I was like... Uh, they're doing them a favor. No they're doing them a solid. Way. They're doing them a solid. <laughs> no, Netflix just pushes them. Yeah, they forward. just say it's number one. I know no one's even can watch that Amy movie. Amy Schumer was the reason why Netflix doesn't have any more stars. You know how like now it's like rating stars. Uh -huh. Now it's like uh, Do you like it's it, a yes match. No? It's a percentage match mm. uh -huh. because she dropped her comedy special, and that shit was whack so as fuck. So trash. So trash. And uh, just to double check, Amy Schumer is the one that like no one really likes, right? She steals all the jokes. She steals jokes. No okay. one likes her, and I guess she her comedy special is <laughs> repetitive because all she does is talk about her like her pussy. She <laughs> dropped her special, and it flopped so hard on Netflix that the next day, or maybe a couple of days after, they removed the ratings. Oh shit! 
It's like when YouTube took off. I don't know why they would even sponsor her. I don't know why they would even sponsor her. Because it's all industry plants. It's all industry shit. It's once you know someone. Yeah. It's it's like you sell your soul, then here you go. You're not going to do something stupid to get the bag? Like like that girl, Bobby. Oh, she's making a comeback, supposedly. Supposedly. She's been gone? Yeah. I mean, she fell off hard. Well, I told you. <laughs> he literally starts foaming at the mouth. <laughs> scared me. When your girl grabs yeah, her phone. Yeah, uh, when your girl. That's that's how when your girl grabs <laughs> her phone. <laughs> I saw I saw her post a TikTok today of season two, and the first couple seconds were all her hate comments, and then her getting ready for season two. I was like, all right, that's a crazy bag. She went in, collected, dipped out. Yeah, but I mean, she took funny Marco's vibe. She she's funny just, Marco, funny Marco, funny Marco. The first the one that got her on. the interview with Drake. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Because yeah. nah, that that's really all his he his are funnier though. I've I've seen some other ones ever since. He, he's funny as fuck. Yeah mm-hmm. yeah. He be hidden. Yeah, she doesn't have the salsa. I gave her props for. No I gave her props salsa. for no like making like having artists like I guess like humble her. In her interviews, because she did one. She did one with um. I don't know if it was. I think <laughs> it was Quavo. Uh, Offset or Quavo. Well, I can't remember. It was Future. Ever. One of those three, but I forgot who it was. But the whole time it was like him just like humbling her because yeah. she was like trying to like. I don't know. Try to like, yeah, because she downplay him or something like that. That 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 downplay, the deadpan downplay the person, and then he would just like guess like humbling her. But I feel like you know sometimes they're just going off of like, hey, this is the vibe. This is how we're gonna do this. Blah blah blah. Just so don't get butt hurt if I say this and that. Yeah, and then they record, and then I don't know. No, no, I'm not saying everything's script. I'm saying like they go off of like, hey, I'm just letting you know this is my vibe. I'm gonna say some shit that's probably gonna like maybe seem it's like it's jokes, fucked up. It's jokes, but it's is it jokes? Because you know? it's like that makes I, I get it. She's like, oh, okay, it's, it's deadpan. It's a it's a it's a gimmick. It's a joke, mm-hmm. right? But she's still saying some shit that kind might, like mm. it makes you go. Mm. You're like, oh, it still kind of hurts that you said that, yeah, and yeah, I know yeah. it's a joke, but I feel like I she know, warns still, them I though. Know, I feel weird. like she probably warns them, and then they just go off that vibe. So it's not like the, what they're saying is scripted. It's just yeah, yeah. They're just going off like freestyle, as and like they're just going off each other. Yeah. But yeah, I know you. I can get you. Come on, like damn, bro. Yeah. Like, like, like why are you being so fucking Jesus Christ? It's very. I know. Like it's. I imagine getting talk shit on the, like for At two your house? hours. <laughs> for two hours, and then after, oh, I was just we still cool, right? It was just. I was like, I was just joshing around. I was just joshing around. I was just joshing you. Uh, oh, I had brought that Kevin Hart thing up because I was like, I love that anything he posts now. Just on anything it's just williams. the comments are just cat williams exposed you shut the fuck up <laughs> cat, williams, cat williams shunned the light and then all sometimes it just literally just says cat williams under <laughs> yeah. his shit cat williams cat williams, cat williams. <laughs> Ten thousand likes yeah ten thousand likes literally Sucks. so people are like nah you're done brody you're done i know kevin hart's ah, kevin hart's always been my favorite that's true like, that's thing. you still you just you still listen to comedy gold mines i haven't it's been a minute yeah. i'll give him props for taking the opportunity to like get the limelight when he was able to because if it wasn't for Cat Williams and David Chappelle leaving, he probably wouldn't have gone like to where he was. Yeah. He would have been like in that list of like maybe top five comedians in that time, but he would have never been number one. But since they had both left and they weren't they weren't doing anything for a long time, someone's got to step. Someone up. Someone stepped up for the number one, and that was him. And so props to him for stepping up. Yeah. But then you you realize was it because he worked hard enough for him? I'm pretty sure he did. Or also because he got a lot of help because you know the whole thing that he said they needed. He a replacement. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I get it. You know, just kind of sucks. I know because you're like, fuck, I really like that. I know. Yeah, I, I love like this motivational it. talks on Joe Rogan. Yeah, yeah. 100%. Oh no, they were motivational. They're pretty. They're yeah. I feel like the, I feel like the the person's still there. No, like you could take things from him. Or what if you? Like, what yeah, if you, like, what you can't if, take that. You can't. Take, it's you, like wearing Kanye West's shoes. It's or like, what if you're supporting so far his gone? What if he's just so far gone? I feel like maybe maybe it's the. You work so hard to put yourself in a position where they can do that for you. We were like, you you worked hard to get there. And then now these people are like, all right, um, you're making noise. We'll take care of the rest. We'll, we'll make you famous. Trust. You get me? So I guess he still worked to that point to be industry helped. He got into the rocket ship. But yeah, he got took, in the rocket ship. When it ship. took off. I guess that's what I was thinking about. Them. That's what I was thinking about. I was like, is that true, Kevin? He, he always Sit said, down with us. are you ready for the rocket? And maybe the 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 engine was just all these industry people. You feel me? Yeah, because he's very marketable. Because he's like on any commercial, he has a lot of sponsors. Yeah. Because he talks about on the whole Joe Rogan thing where he says like, it's not just about me; it's about my team, and that's why I can't like you know. Heartbeat Productions. I gotta yeah, you gotta like I gotta be like making sure like it's not just me. I have people behind me on the team where I have yeah. to make sure I'm marketable, I'm presentable, blah 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 blah. That's why he has so much freaking 
sponsorships. Like not a lot of communities have that much sponsorships. Yeah, that's true. Doesn't matter how high they are because they're very controversial. Look like a NASCAR car. And with him, his, <laughs> on, his on his specials, he's not even controversial to be honest. Yeah. With the specials, he just, he's just about his family, family and stuff like that. You know, yeah. stuff that's not even controversial. Yeah. And that's why he has all those sponsorships. Oh, fuck it. That kind of sucks, bro. You can't have sponsors just for being a little controversial. No. Nah. Because all these. I'm pretty sure you have some, but not like the people who are scared to get canceled are the companies. It's stupid. You can't cancel Coca Cola. You cannot cancel a company that has billions upon billions of dollars. People are still gonna buy your shit. What's it? I, I weren't know. there two? Weren't well, there like major drop, companies? Yeah, they'll drop stock for a little bit. For a little bit, yeah, and they'll come and back up. It. It's like, bro, these companies Cancel, are like Starbucks. Yeah, Starbucks canceling for like, these companies to literally like be like literally like to be go like bankrupt or like just be like just fail. These huge companies have already been around for. Like, They're so big they can't I mean, fail. They 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 would have to make the most dumbest boneheaded mistake ever to even start failing. Nah, but either then, like, let's say this, bro. Let's say. The dude who runs in and out turns out to be a Nazi. Oh. I'm well still going to eat a burger. <laughs> yeah. <'Cause, laughs> they're very Just good. make him step down. <laughs> the burgers are very good. But what if he steps you down? Know? What if he steps down the burgers? The quality meat isn't just there anymore. What if they stop using like chambers to like kill their cows? Or something? Well, that's one of the reasons why they're able to sustain their quality because they are just family owned. They're not yeah. public. You can't, you cannot buy an In-N-Out. At Even Coca Cola, like Coca Cola is just so good. Doesn't matter people what they did. People are still gonna want Coca Cola. They're gonna be like, oh, I, I need that Coca Cola fix. You know. And then all the companies they own under them, yeah. all the sodas they own under them, they're still buying Coca Cola products. You, bro, you gotta be so good, you can't be ignored. Or that's, you can't be that's, canceled. That's my favorite quote. You gotta be so good and so powerful that no cancellation is like possible. Like Pablo Escobar. Yeah, it was killing people left and right. I was watching it yesterday. And people still. Oh, the, the the series again, dude! I watched. No, I, re, I have rewatched. Series. I have rewatched that series so many times. Not that series. It was called um, "How to Be a Mob Boss" or something like that. Oh, okay. I watched all of them. I can pretty much take over any drug. Like yeah, even 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 right even now, with the 100%. when he when he take bombed even when he bombed that Avianco exactly. airplane, he still exactly. had fucking fans because he would give them money. Yeah. He still had people supporting him in his in his um in his um home state home city so like until it was like he started bombing like his own started city killing people yeah like, like, killing, like <laughs> major everyone. people yeah bombing freaking all that stuff that's when they became public enemy number one yeah. today's episode is brought to you by better help i'm proud of myself this year i showed up to work every day even when i didn't want to i got out of my comfort zone and i did not give up it feels like once the new year comes around everyone is so obsessed with changing themselves instead of focusing on what they're already doing right Maybe you finally organize the room you've been wanting to organize, or you even slow down your soda consumption. Whatever it is, you need to give yourself a round of applause. Let therapy help you find your strengths so you can ditch those extreme resolutions and make changes that really stick. I was always the type to believe that I didn't need a therapist. I have all the answers right here. But the most valuable lesson I learned this year was to go talk to someone, to go listen to different perspectives, or maybe the most important thing is just to feel heard. So now imagine a professional listening to you, someone who is trained to help you. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. If you're just like me and you feel like you just don't have the time to go to a physical office space, you'll love that BetterHelp is entirely online. It's designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire and get matched with a licensed therapist, and you can even switch therapists at no extra charge. Celebrate the progress you've already made by visiting betterhelp.com slash IE in friends to get a 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash IE in friends for 10% off your first month. So cheers to a happy new year, and we'll go back to the episode. Did you guys see uh, Coachella's lineup? I did. Yeah. I have it right here. You know what? What do you think, Aaron? I think it was solid. You think it was solid? solid? The only thing I have, the only thing, no, it's not actually, I don't have anything against it. I just thought it was crazy that, but I can see why, because Lana Del Rey has a huge following. Lana Del Rey, I'm glad it's Lana Del Rey, not Taylor Swift. following. I was just surprised that Pe Peso Pluma was not the main headliner that day because I know Lana Del Rey headlines that day mm -hmm. and she does have a fucking huge following. So because there's there's no fucking... But I just thought it, since he's like the hottest artist right now, yeah. he was going to be the headliner. 
But yeah. he's not the hottest artist for people that go to Coachella. Yeah, Lana no, Del Rey right. is you know all what? Coachella. That's also a thing. They saw their, they know their audience. Yeah, they definitely know their that's audience. That's all Coachella. Yeah, yeah, she that's is right. Coachella. That's right. She literally, no, yeah, she's, Tyler Creator and Lana Del Rey, the Coachella. They could have, but I could think they could have headlined together. Ooh. Tyler Creator and Lana Del Rey. That, yeah, for sure. That would have been a crazy, like, mix up. And then give Peso Pluma and Karin Leon their own. <laughs> Stupid ass song. I never, I don't, yeah, I, I, I they make fun of him because how he puts his fucking, it's like, bro, it's a cowboy hat. Stop putting it to the yeah, fucking bro. side like that, bro. My grandpa like, would smack me if I did that with a that cowboy is true. hat. That's true. That's some, true. like, bro, are you a ranchero? Bro, you're like a ranchero. It's okay. No, no, no. It's not even, it's not even about that. It's just about like, it's okay if you have your own sazon, right? You have your own flair and shit. But bro, this, this putting shit, sugar on him. This shit, bro, is like, you're not Jay-Z, bro. The motherfucker putting king you're sugar on him. You're not T.I. You're not Jay-Z. That just, boy's sweet. He's Karin Leon. He can do whatever the that fuck boy, he wants. That boy, Lion? No, he cannot. He does Karin? not have that status to be able to do that. He fuck can't. Oh, nah, he's big. Nah, bro. Nah. I'll tell you this. I like Karin Leon. Uh, <laughs> no, no, he's, he's, he's a good artist. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, we're just making fun of the fact that the literally hat. people make fun of him because he goes like that yeah, with that, his hat. That, yeah. I think it's more of the, is it style? the mouth movement. The mouth movement, yeah. Did, it's like I, exaggerating I, I, the fuck I, I, out of it. It's kind of like, all right, bro, relax. Yeah, it's too much. Yeah. You know when people try, you know when singers like, <laughs> you, like you know when, when singers over harmonize <laughs> on shit? That's what yeah, they kind yeah, of like, yeah, doing he, with the mouth. Like, you know? Yeah, like, like, <laughs> all right, like, like, like when people sing the national anthem. Yeah, he's singing the national anthem in every song he sings. In every song he sings, <laughs> he's performing. He's performing. <laughs> Motherfucker, performer. Yeah, he's let's see who we, Let's see what we got. I would here. see him. He's a rap. That's a really good one. Uh, Jane, I, uh, oh, and then Young Miko. Young Miko, I Spice. I Spice, uh, bro. You're telling me I would. The last time I went to a, a set where a woman is a singer. Or it was City Girls. It was all three of them. I was start bro, barking. I, there was this girl right in front of me, and I didn't even think about it. She was like on my shin. I was like, nying, nying. so I Spice, catch me there. I'll be a munch. When I Spice is just funny. I would like to go to one of her shows because it's a, a meme. It's a meme. It's like I'm a munch. I'm a munch. <laughs> I'm a wear a shirt. Yeah, I'm, a I'm a munch. I'm a munch. Yeah, that's just that, hilarious. That Friday, it's Lana, Beso, Lil Uzi Vert. Those are the main three I see Don't, right pro now. Tip, pro tip, pro tip, pro tip. Luzi, Lil Uzi Vert is going to be fucking late by like 20, 30 minutes. Jesus. So, Not Coachella. Coachella, I heard they're strict as a motherfucker. For real? With Frank Ocean? Yeah. Coachella is strict. You I've heard late. many things about that they Ooh, just cut. Santa Fe clans on Saturday. Yes, yeah, no, bro. Saturday. It's, a pretty big, it's a pretty big one. Sublime? Sublime too, bro. The fact that that's small. On the list? Well, they're, they're what, fourth? Fifth? Yeah, that's weird. They're probably going up back at nine. What do you guys feel about Doja Cat being on, like, a headliner in front of J Balvin? I could, I could see that. J Balvin died off. Do really? I'm surprised his name's that big. J Balvin, I've not heard of J, J Balvin ever since his SpongeBob song has gone down the drain. I don't mind. No, no, yeah, yeah. He, he, he ended his career with that one. Yeah, I think once you go into, like, the, 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 the kid genre. He sold out hard. With that one, Jenna Aiko, she kind of hasn't done. I don't know if she's done anything. Bro, Jenna Aiko needs to bring out Big Sean. Rose is not a show. I need to see Big Sean. Are again. they still together? I need. To, I don't care. I need to see Big Sean again, bro. I, you don't understand, boy. Boy, wobbly, Damn. Wobbly, wobbly, little wobbly, little Yachty. Play that song. Wobbly. The fact little Yachty is that small on the list is kind of crazy too. Well, yeah. also he. I mean, he's not been making noise. Yeah, he does. I've seen more like podcast clips of him. Damn, John, John <laughs> Summit and DJ Snake. Dom Dollar's oh, on Dom Dollar's on. Oh, you know who's on too? On Saturday, Eddie Zuko. Eddie Zuko's there. Yeah, Eddie Zuko's on six. List. Congratulations, yeah. That's congratulations, the brother. There's a lot of good Latin artists that are gonna be playing on this, honestly. So I'm not really. Oh uh, hell no! Why the fuck is Koi Ray on this shit? <laughs> <laughs> the memest fucking artist of all you time. Know, like Roy? Her shit's gonna be empty. Dude, <laughs> now, have you not seen I need you to pull up a video of some of her fucking performances live, bro. Horrible. Oh my horrible, bro. Horrible. <laughs> horrible. And it's sad because it's like, bro, people, some artists try their best, bro. Yeah. But for her, I feel like, are you even trying, dude? Yeah. I heard, uh, didn't uh, Vive, Viva, Vive Con Huevo said this this lineup wasn't... Wait, did it drop yet? No, it hadn't dropped them? just yet. Oh, uh, no, I haven't. No. Uh, By the I'm way, Miss Caesar did Vive Con Huevo. Let's go check it out. Oh, yeah, go check it out. I wonder Vive if it's out yet. I'm pretty sure it should be out. Yeah. I'm kind of upset because I heard that Shakira was supposed to be like yeah, one of the um, headliners. And I would have took her over Doja Cat. As a headliner, for sure. I 
Bro, because Shakira, Shakira, Shakira has Shakira, that name. Shakira, Shakira. Shakira has that name, bro. You cannot say that. If you're going to say Doja Cat, there's ever more. You, nah, I'm sorry. T- tell me three Doja, Doja Cat songs. Doja Cat's huge. Doja Cat's huge. Fuck, She's you're a huge. TikToker. You know Doja yes. Cat's songs. I know a couple. <laughs> yeah, he does. Hey, no, 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 no. Doja Cat is huge. I and Coachella is our you. audience. Coachella is our audience. But I'm sorry. It's Shakira, I want Doja Cat. Okay, so Doja Cat was there like two years ago. Um, Right before. Fuck, I think I was. I don't remember who it was before. But she... She wasn't headlining, but it looked like she was like. Oh, I remember. Like that's it, when she was like, like she was. Coming she was up. making. Cra- it was when she was spitting in people's mouths and yeah, shit. Yeah, that's that's I when was trying to oh, when people were munching hard. for Doja Cat. I was munching hard before she the Didn't demonic shit. Turn on her a little bit, huh? Because she turned kind of like yeah, no, she went no, demonic recently because she like turned I guess yeah. demonic weird as fuck. Yeah, yeah. I remember. What's the name of that one video that was really weird? I saw it for the first time ever when I was in Vegas because we're, 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 we're playing music on the TV. She's literally a fucking demon's literally crawling and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, that one. What's the name of that song? A, is it a Girl Hills? No, Girl Hills. That's even a weird one too because she's just floating. Oh, I think I saw that one too. Yeah, some girl was playing. She wanted to play Doja Cat. Mm-hmm. And then she started playing the like music videos, of course, on you know, YouTube music. But Doja Cat. Doja Cat easy. Any she, she got bops. That's the thing. And she, if she wants to make a good like hip, like hip, like a, a mainstream song, she can. But she hates mainstream music. That's the thing with her. She hates mainstream music. But if go she's like, she's like, all right, give me a bag. I'm gonna make it. But she cannot stand mainstream music, which is cool. But it's just wild. Yeah, if you want a bag, you have to make mainstream, make mainstream music, music, bro. You just have to. There's no denying that. Yeah. It's one funny. I fucking. It's dumb when people say. I used to like them when, before they were mainstream. What Macklemore? the fuck you want me to keep playing I, I, at fucking I, venues that are like two thousand people? I used to like Macklemore no. before he was mainstream. Really? I didn't know Macklemore before he was mainstream. Y'all didn't know him. Yeah, I just hate, I just hate, know him so like dumb. I did. Y'all didn't know. Y'all didn't know wings. Y'all weren't there for wings. I knew Russ before he was mainstream. It's dumb when people say that though. He's still so not dumb. mainstream. He's still not mainstream. Is he? Re- he's not. He's not really. He's mainstream. not mainstream. Not really. It's because no one likes him. Nah, it's just crazy. When are we gonna have Russ on the show so we could talk shit to him? <sighs> it's gonna be this year. This year? I haven't really sat down and thought of any goals. I haven't. I have. Can we make a a, a, a vision Yo. board? A vision board. A podcast yeah, vision board. Uh-huh. That'd be sick. That'd be cool. Yeah. Dude, I saw a video. I like guess it was, like, it was like, a, like a later video of um, of Russ. And I, I was like, I don't, I don't know why people call him cringy, right? I don't get it. Because I, I, no, I didn't keep up with the whole lore and why people started I can tell him. you. We can get into that. No, I know. Bit. But I saw a video of him talking about how like, but like, oh, you know how you want to, like, I want to make his voice. You know how you want to. I can't even do his voice. Fuck that shit. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> he just said some cringy ass shit. What are you saying in his voice? Say it in his voice. No, I can't. What I can't. Say? But he was talking about how, like, you really want to affect a girl's mind. You want to really get a girl to fucking like you. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta mentally like fuck her. <laughs> and I'm, and it was just the cringiest fucking most like, what the fuck's this guy saying type shit? Cause he was trying to be like super like deep. Like he was like, if you really, you just gotta like give them something that they just, you know, it's gonna stay with them forever and this and that. And it was just like, I think he's wearing I, a yellow shirt. He's wearing I a yellow remember, shirt in that fucking video. About. Yeah, I think I know what you're talking and about. And I was just like, oh, bro, you're not doing giving yourself any substance. Service. It's about substance. Yeah, leaving substance and stuff that were there. They're just, it's not just like, oh, you were there. Like, nah, like you were there. Like, it was, Technically. No, no. So don't do this to yourself. Do not do this to yourself, bro. If please. you want to impress a girl, you got to impress her in the mind first. Oh, my God. I'm going to send him. Can I just send him the video? That way he can play and Now you're going to see. Yeah, yeah, play of, it. If you can find it. If I can find it, yeah. Yeah, but while you find that, I'll tell you though why what happened with the why people don't like Russ. It just it, it was just a victim of meme culture. First, it started because he was not into the whole SoundCloud uh, rap artists where they're like mm. all these gimmicks and all this shit, and they're just popping Molly and popping E and all, just doing a shitload of lean and all this shit, right? So there is this festival I forgot where it was, and he wore a shirt. How many drugs does it take to realize that you're a fucking loser? And the following day, Lil Peep overdosed. So they put those two together. I found it. And they play it. Uh, but that's why. And then people just, everybody who likes Lil Peep and SoundCloud culture hate Russ. But then everyone just carried on with it. Yeah. yeah. It's because everyone that liked Lil Peep were like meme makers. Yeah. Like, Literally. Kids. Right. Yeah. <laughs> this is a 14 minute video interview, but I'm just, just going to play it. No, 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 I'm going to play it like this. And you watch the whole thing as a Russ no, hater. No, that's crazy. No, <laughs> oh, motherfucker. The glazing is crazy. I was watching, um, I was watching Cody Ko, the That's Cringe series. Because they're just hilarious, and they did one on Russ at one point. That's another problem with society, right? That's society another problem with society, right? To hold the key to your confidence in their pocket. They want to say, oh, you know what? I know you feel like you should feel good about yourself, and you should feel like you're a king and you're confident, but relax. We'll let you know when. 
And then once you do like a certain like esoteric amount of accomplishments, that's when society would be like, you can feel good about yourself now. You can talk that shit now. Fuck that and fuck y'all. I'm gonna talk my shit till I motherfucking die. I'm not waiting for y'all to tell me, give me the green light on my own confidence. How you gonna green light my confidence? Y'all are tripping. Yo, shout out to my reality is long. Sound pretty cool. Uh, was a Bro, imagine having it's to funny. climb down that. Fuck, shit. I'm trying to. You trying to find a part where he talks about like fucking a girl mentally? Oh, bro, you have to. What? Like he's onto something. Yeah, you're, think uh, about this. Uh, think about this. What are you? Yeah. Oh, God, let's, let's talk about it to you. So, I mean, Aaron, let me tell What's you something. Up? Before you get into a girl's pants, you need to get into her head. Manipulation. Hundred <laughs> percent. How is she gonna? How is she gonna let you get in her pants? If you can't even get in her head. How is your head gonna get in her? Yeah. If you can't even get inside of hers. How are you gonna get head if you can't even give your head? Yeah. Head on. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Right here. This is the one where, like, they literally roasted him. I heard you. You gotta fucking give your head to get head. I heard that. 31. <laughs> Wait, what? Super, super special. Mm, shit. Mentally fucked the shit out of her. <laughs> they asked him, what's the most romantic thing you ever do for, some, for a girl? Hey, for real. I was gonna be doing all this other whatever shit. Cool. You know, the most productive shit you could do with a, with a woman or with anyone in general in life is mentally fuck the shit out of them and put them onto some new wavelengths and new material knowledge-wise so they can use it to make their life better. See, that's the thing. Anyone that's ever been around me, any girl that's ever been around me, they might hate me, they might not fuck with me, whatever the fuck it is, but they will never be able to say that I didn't completely enhance and elevate their mindset. What's wrong with that? Well, I don't see anything wrong yeah, with that. You guys are just no, cringy, no. I'm bro. I'm not even trying to glizzle. The only thing, oh, no, no, the only no, 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 thing, no, no, no. pause it, the wait, only wait, thing wait, you wait, said. Flowers and then she got in the tub. Like, what did that do for anyone after the first five hours? Like, That's true. Flowers die. Thoughts never do. I got a great analogy for you. Hell yeah. Look, bro. I got a great analogy. I'm the analogy master. And before you do the analogy. Go for it. And I'm going to listen to you. Because I'm going to flip it around. And That's cool, bro. I'm going to say this. Not everything got to be deep. Period. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Not everything has to How be deep. How about this? You meet a girl. Deep. You meet a girl. What'd you say? So if not everything has to be deep, then why are the oceans yeah. so deep? Yeah. I'll okay. Say, Check this out. I said it again, so I just do it again. Oh, okay. Check yeah, this yeah. out. You meet a girl uh -huh. who is living an unhealthy style. She has Drugs. bad eating. Like she does, she eats bad. She doesn't go to the gym. She eats ass. And then you meet her. Right, you meet her Maybe. and you talk to her and you let her know about your transformation and how good it made you feel and how much powerful it made you. And now she's gonna keep that in her head. Be like, damn, he was so true about what he said. Maybe I should change my life around. And that's you fucking her mindset. The only cringy part is that he decided to use a oh, fuck, her, fuck her, her mindset. Her mind, fuck her mind. But the the meaning the what the meaning of it is just like you leave an impression on someone. Mm -hmm. yeah that's really what it is leaving an impression on someone you know okay no, no, this is, this is, i'm gonna I'm I'm cook it let's tag I'm, ready cook, cook cook it cook it cook it. it let me hear it let me hear it like, yeah. right, Damn, it's in the skillet it's in the, it's in the skillet, it's in the skillet. skillet. Right. yeah i'll put it i'll put yeah. it to you as a real world example yeah let me right? hear it man i was working and mm -hmm. i work with people 24 7 or mm -hmm. i had my job this girl had a book mm -hmm. i had actually read that book mm -hmm. so i started telling her shit about that book i'm intellectual i'm we're connecting intellectually right and at the end of it, she comes back the next day and she comes back literally for something else for her phone. But her first thing is to just talk to me about the book that she just read, she's reading that chapter and what she thought about it. Mm -hmm. That she, means that the whole day she was, when she had to come back the next day, she was like, oh, I'm going to talk to him. About, I can't like, wait I hope, to talk to I him hope about he this. Is there because I want to talk to him about this. I'm in her head. Yes. And if I wanted to, I could have I could have preceded this conversation and been like, you know what? We should go get some coffee or something mm -hmm. and, and talk maybe more go get, or go get a different book yeah. and I'll point you into a better book that you can read. Nice. And then what I, I was like gonna, I'm, we're not reading that book that night, yeah. but something's closing and open. Yeah, but yeah. something opened yeah. and there weren't and there weren't pages. And it smelled like a book. So you get it? Fuck yeah. Do you dude. get it? You get it? I like that one. You but I'm just gonna say everything he said was invalid for the first statement he said. Why? Period. Why? Why can't you just fuck a girl's head? <laughs> I mean, mine. <laughs> Like okay, I'm the gonna way tell you he this, bro. Dumb. No, yeah, the way, exactly. Hey, but I don't care what he said. He could have said the most enlightening shit ever. His statement was invalid the moment he started off with mentally fuck the shit out of Dog, he said that and he even laughed. Nah, it doesn't matter. Do you not invalid. know you know what jokes are? You nah, know invalid. jokes. Invalid. He's just a rust eater. He's just a rust eater. You know what? 31, 41, 
51. <laughs> fuck you! <laughs> suck! No! No! no 71. Fuck you. Shut the fuck up! Uh, right on the board. Ah, yes. oh, you fucking bastards. <laughs> the new set should have a 31 in the corner. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I fucking hate you right now. <laughs> that, the IE network one's gonna turn into a 31. <laughs> oh. Pick a number. <laughs> 10. Pick a different number. 10. One and one and nine. One, one seven. Zero, put one zero zero. Seven. One. Seven. No. <laughs> oh, God. That looks disgusting. 81. That looks disgusting. 81. That looks gross, dude. Every time you say something, I'm just going. So for y'all that, for y'all that didn't see last episode, Aaron's scared of numbers that end with I'm one. I'm not scared of numbers that end with one. They just look weird to me. He's scared. <laughs> you know what I'm going to be for Halloween? A 31. <laughs> you're going to be a three. You're going to be a one. Yeah. <laughs> he oh, yeah. you he's going to always want to separate it. <laughs> Would you say that's a phobia? No, I'm not scared of one. Why, think, are you, why are you so agitated, bro? Relax. It's when just did number- it start? When did you realize you were scared numbers of- that end with like, one have always looked weird to me? When, 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 Except for number, of course, number one, the number 11, 21 gets a pass, and then the number like 100 gets a pass. The number 111. 21 is a cool number, though. 21 yeah. is a cool number. Also, that's the moment you're able to drink legally, so why not? Yeah. I just yeah. like three times seven equals 21. I don't know. I'd I like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's funny. I don't yeah. know. I think, like I said, it all spanned when I was younger, when I was playing FIFA. And you know how, like in manager mode, you can like You're give, you, your control. You can um no what, <laughs> you can um, you know, give your players the numbers you want, yeah. their kit numbers. Uh huh. And then I would always make sure no one had the number with ending in one except for number <laughs> one, eleven, and twenty one. Even sometimes I won't even let them have the number twenty one. Sometimes. No. Yeah. I fucking hate you. I swear. <laughs> I swear to God. Thirty one just. <laughs> 31 and 41 look the most ex- disgusting. No one can tell me that. It looks weird. Yeah, I put the volume. 31 and 41 just look weird. Ah, oh, it just looks like a weird number. I put the volume up on the TV to 31. Oh and, God, and right now bro. it's going to change to 251. Yeah, we'll be with the soon. Two minutes left. Now it's time to answer. Take the mic. If you guys don't know what Take the Mic is, it's a segment here we have where we answer your guys' ad- questions, advice, or anything you want to just tell Get us about. Get something off your chest. Yeah, this is the place. Do it. We're like the confession room in your priest. In your church. Church that doesn't touch you. Yeah. But if you want us to. We'll, do well fuck your brain. All right. So link down below. First one. What's up, friends? I met an amazing girl last October. Yeah. Like She's a- perfect cooks is oh. a hustler uh, and most importantly a big booty uh, latina yeah, yeah bbl baby I'm tired of you cheating churro eating makers <laughs> <laughs> i'm done with that at first i was all about sliding her up until i realized i didn't have the time to as i needed to focus on my grind to be the provider I king that. so i king. cut it off and we didn't speak for almost two months however we got back into contact and i realized i missed her oh. I'm still not ready to commit, but I want to ask her if she's down to be my girl mm. until I get it together. Essentially, wait for me. What do you guys mm. think? Is it toxic? I don't think it's toxic. I think, I think you just got to bet on yourself and yeah. be like, this is my girl. Because I, I, I'm not going to lie. I pass, I pass out on good girls because I'm, I'm not fully where I want to be. Mm-hmm. But I mean, that's because I can't. I got a career that keeps my life away, like keeps me away from like I can't be with women, so like it makes it hard. But if you don't have that career where it's like easy, just like you can't see her that often, I'm sure she'll be fine if she's really like I like you. Yeah, you I know? think you need a, a perfect girlfriend is someone who compliments you, so someone who doesn't make your life harder. Mm-hmm. So if you think if you have this girlfriend, your heart, your life's gonna get a little harder. She might not be the one for you, or not yet. Yeah, so you tell her, be like. I'm you. The perfect girl will be someone who will be there during your grind, because you're gonna have you're gonna be so busy, you're gonna be so tired, and you're gonna need some encouragement at the end of the day. And like she can be the girl for you, mm-hmm. uh, but that's just something you need to let her know. Because imagine you're like I'm gonna focus on my grind, and because the let me tell you right now the grind never stops. So with that mentality, you're you're just postponing her. And then someone else is going to come swoop her off her feet. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So grind together. Let her know that you really like her and all this stuff. Um, you want her to be with you. But then you let her know. You give her the disclaimer. Listen, I'm, I am going to be on my grind. I do want to focus on this. I'll, give you his, I'll try my best to give you attention. But as of right now, 
putting me first, but I would love to yeah. have you by my side. And just let her know, like, like look, if wife. at any yeah. point you want to leave, because I know you, you, you know, you don't have to wait for no one. Yeah. I understand it, I, but I'm focused on this way more right now, yeah, and I yeah. don't think that's a disservice to you if I'm focusing on this more than you. Mm-hmm. And I want to, and I get it. He wants to get to a level where he feels he's providing enough yeah. that she's not gonna like, you know, that he could provide for her or whatever it is, where they, he could take it on a date and not worry about money the mm-hmm. next day. Because I feel like, yeah, man, sometimes you're on your grind and you don't want to be in a relationship because you're like, I can't even take my girl on dates. Even though she might say, oh, I don't care, babe. I don't care, babe. You're like, nah, deep it's down. Something for the ego it's, and the man. Even if it's not for her, it's for you. You're yeah. like, fuck, bro. Like, I can't even take her on dates because yeah. I'm broke as fuck right now. Yeah. And then and you're, and then it might be where she's going to get tired of her just having to wait to go somewhere or even have you take her out yeah. or whatever. You know, like, you just, you know. But also, at the end of the day, it's who you eat in the car with late at night. Yeah. Those are the perfect dates. At yeah. the end of the day, it's who you don't eat with and get sleep instead. Because of the grind really that hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's I don't know, man. You got this. You got it. It's easy. Just communication. Congrats, though, man. You found a baby Latina that likes you. That likes to cook. Yeah. Yeah. I and, literally thought I said perfect cocks. And if you don't ask her out, I will. So Dang. get on your shit. <laughs> Thank that should be motivation for, for every guy that writes in about a girl. You better pick it up before Soul goes and hits on him. <laughs> <laughs> That's your guys' motivation. I'm not, I'm not toxic man, anymore. That, toxic man right anymore. <laughs> that man right there. That man right there. Just there. picture him trying to hit on your girl. Oh, uh, next. <laughs> am, am I in the wrong for wanting to ghost a guy I've been talking to for a month after he took me off his close friends and started lagging on me longer and text being more dry? I've been hurt too many times and I don't want to go through it again. Some part of me feels bad, but also it's kind of shady. The energy just feels different. I just tell him, to, just say you're done. Leave, sis. Leave, sis. You don't even, you don't owe no one anything. And he doesn't know you anything either. Yeah, so just a month, who cares, man? Like, Sometimes I'm... Ghost him. You're fine. It kind of seems him. like he's already ghosting you in a way. It kind of seems like you're already ghosted, homegirl. Yeah, yeah so... Unless he texts, <laughs> unless he texts exactly. you first. Exactly. Unless he texts you first some days, because if you're always constantly texting him first, that's kind of already a sign of him already yeah. ghosting you. Yeah. Right now, you don't know if you're ghosted for real, for real. Yeah. So you ghost him before he ghosts you. What if she's already ghosted, though? Like, what if... Or just... She don't know that. She don't know that. I feel like a that. test would be how long can she go without get, receiving a text from him. At the end of the day, it's about who you think about on your birthday. Yep. Isn't well, that who crazy? thinks about you on your birthday? No, whoever you think about on your birthday. I thought about a lot of people. No, but like but, that one person, like I wonder if that person's going to send me a happy birthday text. Do you guys ever th- wonder who's going to be the first one to tell you happy birthday? Nah. Oh, okay. My I literally have no girl. Like if you're thinking about <laughs> girls, I can't. No, I'm talking about girl. like just in general, your friends and everything. Uh, no, no, I I do expect to wake up to like at least 50 text messages on my birthday. Damn. Damn. My bad, Mr. Popular. My bad, dude. I'm Damn. in like four different group Damn. chats. Damn, Mr. Popular. Damn, bro. My bad, dude. There's, Damn. there's 13 of you guys. Damn, yeah, bro. Yeah, my bad, bro. That's sorry cool, that you have like bro. seven cool. group friends, bro. And there's like 27 it's, it's, in another hey, group chat. Hey, hey, I'm sorry we don't have like eight group friends yeah, like you, man. Cool. Sorry. You have the same amount of friends sorry, I do. Sorry, I'm not no, cool, I do not. bro. Yeah, <laughs> You have more friends than I do. I have one group chat. You no. have more friends than I do. No, I do not. Eric. Wait, I have more what? More friends. No, I Motherfucker has like 20 group, group friends. I keep group raising friends. the number. <laughs> I have group two group friends. You have, like friend. th- you have 20 friend groups. All right, next. Okay, my bad. <laughs> so, <laughs> my bad. Sorry for being out. Sorry people like me. <laughs> sorry people might like me more than you. I like this one. I haven't even read shit. All right. This is a long one. You guys ready? We'll read it. Yeah, popcorn yeah, read. Yeah. <clears throat> Please help. I'm sorry this is long. <laughs> Please help. So long. I'm sorry this is long. I like my voice more. I need help. I feel like I need a guy's perspective because my girlfriends have already told me their side, but I need a guy's side. All right, let's hear it. I will be using a fake name for him. I doubt he would ever hear this, but one can never be sure. (laughs) Javier and I met on Bumble and we spoke for about six months. We were supposed to go on a date, but I got sick. This was during COVID and no, it wasn't COVID. He was bummed out since he lives in Illinois and I live in Wisconsin. So he was so he was coming to see me. Since I have strict parents, I won't be going to him. Anyways, as we try to reschedule, it was getting harder due to COVID. We would call, text, he sucked at texting, and would FaceTime. New Year's came around and we then just stopped talking. Months go by. He texts me around October 2nd. This is important. I was caught off guard. He said, hey, how are you? But the name was probably Javier Sanchez. 
I was like, huh? So I texted back saying, Javier. And he said, yes, it's me. How are you? So we continued to text. The next day, October 3rd, I had one class. And after, I would have my nail appointment because it was my birthday. He then asked what I was doing. I told him I'm getting my nails done. He said, what's the special occasion? I thought nothing of it, but then he proceeded to tell me happy birthday. I don't even remember his birthday since he became irrelevant to me. So I took this as a sign as him trying. So I was geeked, low key, and we kept talking and months go by. December rose around and I, gar- and I graduated. He congratulated me, but then stopped talking to me. He said he was busy. So I said, bet. He would reach out and I stupidly would respond. But as New Year's Eve comes around, we were talking and I noticed he was becoming distant before this. He then proceeds to say this, and I quote, I am a nobody. I have been lying, not to myself, but I can't lie to you. You are a wonderful human, like dead ass. But I am not perfect. I look down on myself for being a nobody. I have lost so much and even lost myself that I fell into a big spiral down to only realize that I am everything I need to be inside and out, and that is me. I then told him to put his big boy pants and make something of himself. I have tried to support him, but he wouldn't take it, and this was my last straw. I then said, I am here if you need me. He then proceeded to say, and I quote, you take care of yourself out there. And thank you for being here. I'm going away from everyone to rebuild. I said, right. You do you, Javier. Bye. I left it as that and no longer wanted to entertain this. I have helped him and pushed him to be a better version, but he took it as a lesson and I told and told me that, do I think I am better than him? I never once ever told him that. He said, bye, right? Now it's 2024. It's only been what four three weeks in the new year he has called me four or five times already watches my insta stories and is always on top of my viewers i'm so confused but i won't answer since he ne- he never really gives a good answer to my questions and plus he said bye so bye what do you guys think he wants i'm so confused and want to hear y'all's opinion i was there for him support and all Yet, in the end, felt like he was against a lot of things I was doing for myself. I'm so confused with him. Please help a girl out. Thank you. Y'all's podcast cracks me up. And as I said before, y'all cute, especially Aaron. XOXOXOXOXOXO. RG. RG. Well, I just blustered that. Well, Raquel Gonzalez. Dude, kisses. <laughs> this is what I think. <laughs> you gave her a name? <laughs> What'd you say? Hey, she gave Javier a name. So, yeah, so Raquel Raquel Gonzalez. Gonzalez. RG, your name is Raquel Garcia. I think you started this in 2020. That's crazy. And it's 2024. That's crazy. This man is not your man. And you uh, tripping over him. Yo, you. you I would have blocked this dude a long time ago. Yeah. Why is he not blocked? He should have been blocked a long, long time ago. Look at him. Look at him writing, making you write paragraphs. What are you doing, sis? He has you in his pocket. You're better than this queen. You're in his pocket. His right pocket too. Right pocket. You're in the, no, no, no. You're in the little pocket yeah. where they used to put the little, like watches. the little watches, the watches. in there. Yeah. You're in that pocket you're that he even... only remembers he exists here and there. Yeah, when he accidentally touches. Yeah, it. yeah, you know, because you don't really feel that you're pocket. Not even here a there. main pocket. Damn. Oh, damn. damn you guys went hard on her, dude. I mean, and she got to understand. It's four years. Four years. Twenty twenty. I was fam, like, no way. She fam, said, "20." I thought this was gonna be an old story, but then it's still going on. Yeah, fam. She she got through a pandemic. She got. What through, does like, that a, make you feel a, in your stomach? A historic disaster. What does that make you feel in your stomach, so Sick to my stomach, fam. <laughs> Sick to my stomach. That's right. That's oh, right. I should eat hot Cheetos last night. All right, next one. Get over so him. Get sis. over block it. Him. <laughs> get over block it. Block him. That you should easy. see my block list. Yeah, it's so I was so surprised about this. No, we were both very like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's 2024. You leave people back in 2020. You should have left him in 2020, 2020, 2020. What? All right. Should have left them like we left the pandemic. Pandemic. All right. Next one. Love the podcast and keep up the good work. Aaron can really see the progress. Just wondering if you guys would consider getting that Mexican OT on the podcast. And also getting Evelyn Juarez official on the Besties podcast. Toodles. Toodles. They're both from Toodles. Texas. Uh, so yeah. that's the hard part. Mexican Oak Tea. Uh, whenever he does come, to, I've seen like his interviews whenever he does. I, yeah, I mean, it's part of work. Like, yeah, you're down. 
Yeah, I will hit him up. That that's definitely one of the goals. It's cool, mm-hmm. cool ass dude. Evelyn Juarez, yeah. she's dope as fuck. She's cool. She's uh, really cool. I'm sure she'll be down. So yeah, we'll make that, that, was that, that was a fun one. Yeah, that was a fun one. Is it bad to chase a guy? Yeah. Next one. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even read the best. Uh, is it bad to chase a guy knowing the guy doesn't have the confidence? Most likely because his ex left him for another guy and had a baby a year later, and they had a kid together. Also. Is he still healing from that process? Like, what should I do? He's probably still healing. He's definitely still healing yeah, from his, that process. Ju- his, his confidence has been fucking destroyed right now. Yeah, he's thinking about his ex. Yeah. Don't chase him. Don't, Don't chase be him. a bandage. Don't be a band-aid. Don't be a band-aid. All right. Let him heal. Be a scab. Yeah, be a scab. <laughs> Just be there for annoying him. What? <laughs> like, scabs are annoying. Itch him. Itch him. I haven't had a scab in a long time. When was the last time I had a scab? Damn. You're right. Damn, we need to go outside more and play. Yeah, we got to like fall on our knees and shit. Yeah. It hurts way more now. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of lay there while you're like, uh, uh, yeah, yesterday. Not yes- even just the, now it's just uh, like your body hurts when you fall. You're just like, no, uh, I, I felt yesterday. I was trying to get up with, I was trying to do like a pistol squat, yeah. but I like fell, but I was at my house. I was like at the gym and I kind of like just lay there a little extra. I was like, oh, my elbow. <laughs> that hurt. Yeah, we'll do two more. Why? Because we're already in November. Oh. Yeah, write your submission in, guys. What's going on? <laughs> P.S. Because we take forever to read them. It's just yeah. like. P.S. I feel so dumb, guys, because within the five months. What? I... Uh oh. I think this is from a different one, is it? What? It says P.S. I feel so. Uh, P.S. I feel so dumb, guys, because within the five months of us being together, I had gotten him the pink, messy Inter Miami jersey. Sheesh. The expensive, authentic one. Paid for his haircut. Damn. I was so loyal. I stood up the same guy three times from my talking stage. But it's okay because it's his loss. He's going to lose a girl who would have made his made an amazing wife. That's, That's right, Queen. That's right, You're queen. an amazing wife. Perfect. I've never had a girl you pay for what? my haircut. That jersey fucking sucks, but gr- it was a great gift. Had, yeah. Great yeah. gift for, for if yeah, he's Yeah, it's a, a great gift. Authentic great, jersey. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Great you know what you're gift. doing. I, I've gotten it. Yeah. Terrible yeah. player. No, I'm just kidding. Authentic jerseys. I'm just kidding. Authentic jerseys. Authentic. And the haircut? Damn, I you want like him. You're like, yeah, daddy. Get slutty. Get slutty. You pretty much daddy, made him a slut, and then it's your fault. Damn, that haircut you paid for? It. Some other girl was rubbing her nails across it. That's crazy. In the back of his head. Damn. Not bad. That's sis. the equivalent of a guy paying for a girl's nails, and then they're rubbing and another guy's back. Yeah. Oh, what oh. the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God damn, man. Oh, shit, we're on two different fucking... <laughs> we were on two different wavelengths, dude. <laughs> <laughs> two different wavelengths. All right, last one. Hi, guys. I've been talking to this guy for about two, three months. When we first started talking, he was going after me hard. Mm. I wasn't sure what I wanted because I was in my single party carefree era. But I will admit, I did develop feelings for him. But that changed when he told me that he still wasn't over his ex. When he told me he wasn't over his ex, he made me feel like an option because he wants to do all the relationship stuff without the title. I told him from the beginning. That if he was seeing other girls, I would be upset, but I can't do anything about it because we aren't exclusive. Recently, he told me he wants me to stop seeing other guys, but I don't think it's fair because we're not exclusive. He keeps telling me that I need to give him time and just chill. I'm afraid that I could be missing out on someone who could give me everything. I'm not sure what to do. Damn, these, these labels are so weird. Feels like, like why he's can't, Why can't it be like, I like you? You like me? Yeah. Well, okay, it's because he's we, still he's still on his ex. If he wasn't on his ex, this would have not been a a, they, a, co- a conversation for you. That guys. is true. So he's still on his ex. He's still on his ex, but I mean, still that like I've heard that label like way too many times. Like, are we exclusive? Are we not exclusive? Damn. I don't Re- know. Relationship without the title, crazy. So he wants. That's he, crazy. So, so I was just spending money like without old, a girlfriend. It's that old saying. He, right. You can't I have. Never. You can't have your cake and eat it too. He's trying to have both. He's trying to have his cake and eat it too. You can't have cake. I can't. <laughs> and eat it too. No, I'm saying that's the thing where you can have your you, you can have your cake, but you can't eat it. Why not? Why? It's just an old saying. You're the bro. you're the motherfucking I don't cake get it. police or what? I don't know how to. Cake, you're the, you're the cake controller. You're the cake. <laughs> no, it's an old saying. The cake control. The cake no. control. Shit, I, you're the, I wanna I wanna control the pastry some, police. I, I wanna control some cakes. You're the slicer senior. What the fuck? No, it's just an old saying, basically saying like you can't just get everything you want. Mm. I've actually learned. That if you take the second option instead of your first option, 
then the second option based off probabilities actually becomes even less of an option because you already took it. So now it's math. Hold on. You're cooking for a little bit. I was cooking for a little bit. So let's say you have two girls. You have two girls. You have two girls, right? One, one is your, her option and she's your option. But the other one, you're, you're like, oh, I want to go with this person. So this girl goes out, goes out. And now you go with the second, the, the option you want, not the option that should have been for you. So based off of probability, that option becomes less than half. So it's like flipping a coin. So basically the first option you don't really want. The first option would have been the option that you should have taken because that was the 100% guarantee, but you've rolled dice. Now you're with the second option. I was, uh, and the second am, I option? Your, am I fucking your So the, the first option, you know, if you date her, she's going to say yes. She's going to want to be your girlfriend. And the second option is a more of a gamble. Like you got to. The second option is also going to say yes, wants to be your girlfriend. But you, by taking that choice, you, by having two choices already, you decrease the probability of it being the right person. That's why when you meet the right person, it's just that person. It's not, you're not choosing between two people. Mm. It's like you you end up oh. you end up you end up not being with neither of them because they're so like, not the right person. Right. So this was a, this if was, you had options and they weren't they weren't for you, for you. exactly. So it's like it math math is in everything. There math is. is literally in every single option that you take in your life. You can see it as like it's a, it's more emotional, but it's just math. Mm. You you had you had one hole, then you split it into point five point five, and then now you're at a quarter because now you went with the other one. Let me tell you guys this little story about hey, Tiffany. Here. Was, Hanyard, Hanyard. Was, I don't know how that? you pronounce it. Tiffany she Hanyard. is the mayor of a city uh, in Illinois. It's Dalton, Illinois. So recently, she's just been blowing up because she's kind of like a corrupt politician. She's a corrupt mayor, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Dude, I can, like, literally on this, bro, like, you can do, like, a 10-part series on this girl, on this woman, because she's, like, literally has done so much fuck shit. It's, like, an episode of Parks and Rec or The Office mm. of, like, you know, just... Uh -huh. fuck shit. It, it's, like, it, this literally looks like it's literally a part of a show, a <laughs> comedy show on how ridiculous the things she's done. Okay, what's she done? So, I guess, basically, um, re-elections are coming around, right? Mm -hmm. And she tried putting an order, um, ordinance if that if she loses the re-election... The salary for the mayor in Dalton will reduce from two hundred twenty-five thousand dollars to twenty-five thousand dollars if she loses. <laughs> That's a villain. <laughs> That's some petty ass Can shit. Even do that. But if she, I don't. It's an ordinance. I don't. It doesn't have to go through. I think. But. I think oh, it's, it. It stands for a little bit, and then the law can change right after. Um, but if she won, it still stays the same at two hundred twenty-five thousand dollars. <laughs> so, so, so no one could run. A queen no, no, people are still run, but that's but, what she's trying to do. Yeah, just yeah. as a petty move for not winning, basically, in the re-election. So basically, also, in Dalton, on off the highways, there's multiple billboards of her, um, of her name, huge, just big, and her face. And it's just like promoting and advertising stuff like, you know, senior services, fresh, free produce. But the things that she's, like, the thing that's being promoted is super small on the billboard. And her name and her face <laughs> is just big as fuck right Let's there. Let's get her on the pod. Hey, that's, how, that, that's, that's, that, that's going into your subconscious. When you're at that ballet, you're going to be like, oh, I know this name. Yeah. <laughs> Check it off. So recently, she got a lot of, she went under fire because she went to Vegas with her friends to attend, quote unquote, a conference. Oh, that was getting fucked. <laughs> there, it was 100%. Wow, she literally spent thousands of dollars on taxpayer dollars. On airfare, hotels, and fresh dinners, restaurants, food, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, she went to places like, you know, Ruth Chris, you know, crawfish places, some cafes. And then she also went to Bubble Gump, a uh, shrimp corp company, right? The restaurant where she bought a hat where she brought that same hat in to a town council meeting about her Vegas trip. So she literally just brought she no proof. Fucks. She brought literally her proof that she was in Vegas at Bubba Gump yeah. with her with the hat that she bought from Vegas <laughs> to the town council meeting. Who is this Damn, lady? Damn, this lady sounds like I want to party yeah. with her. I want to make her my friend. Is she hot? Yeah, I feel like she's a little bad. I'll hot. show you some pictures right now. I'll show you a video that I feel she like got. she's those cougars that like they grab you by the tie and tell you you're a naughty boy. Yeah. You look just like my son. What? <laughs> it's just creepy now. And after that town council meeting, afterwards, the local news station in Dalton interviewed her. And they, she, they would literally just ask her about Vegas, and she just would not answer the question. And all she would say is no comment. <laughs> she would just ignore the question, 
say I can't talk about that right now. Yeah. No yeah. comment. Whatever. She was just dodging the question. Her baddie with her baddie friends. <laughs> she also they were all wearing red bottoms. Bro, it's not even done. This is not even a tip of the iceberg of all this, bro. Tip it. No, man. There's more. I hadn't. Even, I there was just way too much. How long? But basically, she recorded a music video with taxpayer dollars. <laughs> What's this girl's And name? it's not even her own song. Can, can it's not even the music video. It's not even her own song. It's just her singing over a song that's already made before yeah. that. <laughs> can we and in this? the video, the actual police department is in the <laughs> video too. What's her name? Tiffany. Hey, um, um, let me let me see. Hayward? No, uh it's it's uh H E N Y A R D. So Henyard, Henyard, whatever. Henry Yard. <laughs> Mayor of Dalton, Illinois. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay, I see what's up. Yeah, she, so you can, you, can see the, you can see the interview where she got interviewed after the local news. Uh, you can see that one right there. It's about the Vegas trip. And then also the music video is just fucking gold. That's her. That's funny. So she's a very corrupt person taking taxpayer dollars, this and that, you know. You know what she, you know what this is reparations? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You know what? It's what it is. <laughs> Put up you can't Tiffany. be mad at it, bro. You can't be mad Put at it, Put up Tiffany bro. Haynard, uh, Vegas interview or something like that. No, put her up. music video. Let's watch it. Let's see. Oh, shit. She went like the whole city Ooh, stuff. Wee. Another blessing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the one. a city worker <laughs> it's all city employees <laughs> damn they showing up the whips not gonna lie i've moved to this community <laughs> They look like a fun crew of people. Look at the car. Look at the car. <laughs> now look up her Vegas in, uh, in Vegas interview on the local news. I like her. This is I, at first I thought she was gonna be like a piece of shit. No, it's hilarious. I just feel bad for everyone that has like is paying for her vacations and shit. Why? They're gonna pay for someone's. At least she's having nah, fun with it. Nah. I bet if it was a white man. Yeah, no one would be no, bad no, no, no. eye. But a bad eye. But no eyelash would be bad. Oh, strong black lady. <laughs> they wanna. Make a big deal out of yeah, it. Young, independent woman. Uh, Y'all just hating. You hating. I'm not. I'm literally reporting on it. What do you mean? I'm just telling you what's going on. It's fucking hilarious. The Southland Journal. They got 8,000 views. The okay. shit froze. I wonder what the comments say. I mean, that's what I'm trying to look, but it shit froze. <laughs> I'll vote uh, for her again. I wonder if it's just citizens of Dalton be like, what the fuck is this shit? Where my money went? I like how all of those cars also have a fresh ass car wash. Yeah. <laughs> like they're all sparkling. Like keep it fresh for the mayor's this video. Shit, this shit got clay barred, bro. That fucking truck, the dirt truck got clay barred. <laughs> that's dope. What? Speaking about mayors, the text, the one from uh, Tijuana. What happened? She has paid off Tijuana's debt and she's like cleaning up the city. She paid Tijuana's debt? Debt. Who? The mayor. What's her name? Do you know? I don't know her name. But she's like, she's, she's about it, bro. She's gangster. Like, she's really putting all that. She's not, she's not corrupt. So, like, they have a fuckload of money. I forget her name. Tijuana Mayor. We gotta fucking give her a shout out. What the hell? Yeah. I'm checking on that. Oh, what the fuck? Google. Tijuana. I'm pretty sure that's her. I don't forgot her name. I think, I thought I saved the video of her. That's dope, bro. Yeah, she's like partnering up with the president and shit. My TikTok's all my so my TikTok thinks I'm like like Mexican in Mexico. Yeah. So <laughs> I really get like their their news from over there. Mm. Say we need a fucking president. Mexico needs a president like what El Salvador was doing. Tijuana mayor says she will live at army base after threats. Seven bodies found. This is twenty twenty three. Just because she paid the debt? No, because bro, how what? do you think she's paying the debt? She's paying the debt by not being corrupt. True. She's paying the debt by not letting all this shit get through and stuff like that. So they literally they 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 had like a they had like a shootout and then they told her she had to stay at the army base mm -hmm. and she said all right I'm gonna stay here because it's for the safety of her kids. She said but I'm not gonna stop working. She said I don't care what the consequences are. Damn. She's like she's like but she's like I'm she pretty much said I'm going down with a fight. Yeah. Damn. Fuck yeah. I love this woman. I Check out marry this her. article. Drug lords go on killing spree to hunt down corrupt officers who stole shipments in Mexico's Tijuana. 
Wow. Uh, but Ash is crazy. I, I haven't really seen too many. Yeah, it's cool. She's she's a cool mayor. I was like, oh, that's cool. What's her name? Montserrat. Montserrat. Caballero. Caballero. She's oh, a yeah. badass. So we have mayors that do music videos, <laughs> and we have mayors that pay debts. <laughs> that's that's correct. dope. I, I don't know. That's a lot of. Cause she's not she's not paying it like out of pocket. She's paying it with like Mexico's money. Yeah, she's partnered up with the president and shit like that. That's good. But she's partnered up in the right way. That's so all scary. that money. So she was like, there was an interview where there's where she was talking to like the actual workers and everything, and she's like, there's there's paperwork that says that like a street has been done. She's like, I'll go to that street. She's like, and it's empty. She's like, there's no light poles. There's no concrete. There's no street. That someone's just signing off for it. So she's firing everyone. Oh wow. So that's why they're getting threats because she's firing people yeah. that are in. That know people pockets, it's in their pockets. That that yeah. know people. So they're yeah. But yeah. hopefully she doesn't hopefully she does everything she can and hopefully she, she stays alive. Mm. Yeah. Well, since we're talking about Mexico, uh crazy news about Mexico, uh, to get more specific, Chivas de Guadalajara. What? They signed their first non Mexican born mm-hmm. player. Weird. Such weird. A weird, so move. random, and it's such a weird move. And the most and random even, guy. It's not even a guy. I'm sorry. It's not even a guy that's worth it. Really? I don't. Really? If you're gonna break your own rules, so who do you want? But if you're gonna break your own rules, good point. Good point. Get Cristiano Ronaldo. All power to Cade Cowell. All fast, power to him. Fast. I hope dude. he does great. He's coming to our team. Hopefully, he does great Chiva and all. Chiva hermano. But I don't even think this is a player to try to break your own long, long know, history of just signing so. Mexican-born players. Yeah. And you know what's going to be worse? The pressure on him. Oh, 100. If he fucks he up, he plays for the U.S. They're going to deport him. If he fucks up, <laughs> they're going to be <laughs> on to his your country. Neck. No, 100. They're going to be on his neck because he's also Keep U.S. born. Who could have played for Mexico if he chose to? But he played. He's. But he played he chose the, the United States. He chose the United States. Yeah. That's a crazy bold move. But Chivas. so far, I've seen good, like, positive, like, people, they're not mad about it. I've seen good reactions. From- I think we need, like, a better team, so we're just, like, you no, know. No, yeah, what? I don't think Chiva fans are mad at it. I think they just want any signing to become great. Yeah. <laughs> but that dude is good. That dude, he's really he's a, good. I think he's a workhorse. I don't know if he's... He's very fast. He's very think, fast. I don't think he is talented on the ball. I think he can work. Of course, he can get better on that. But no, he is a workhorse. He's got some golazos on he him. He has a he's a workhorse and he does have a little bit of speed. But just because you have speed doesn't mean you're good. Yeah. Yeah, we learned that the hard way, huh? <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, that, that's. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I thought that was very interesting. I'm very excited to see. Actually, I'll see. You're gonna we're gonna watch a game together. I'll see some. I'll see some. Are you Chivas gonna be a Chiva hermano? Only because no. You're gonna be a Chiva hermano. No. We're gonna unite and we're gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> you're, gonna be, you're gonna be part of the goats or what? No. Chiva hermano. No, Chiva Hermano sounds cool. You guys don't even have a name. Aguilas. Aguilas what? That sounds way better. Aguilas what? Aguilas compared Aguilas to what? a fucking Ch- Chiva, Chivo. But like a Hell name no. you give it to each other. Like like Aaron and I were Chiva Hermanos. Kevin and I, Chiva Hermanos. Yeah. What are you? Yeah, we're Team Birria, fool. <laughs> yeah. What are know. you, Team fucking Bald? Eagles. Yeah, Team Bald. I've never even seen an eagle in my life. Are they even real? <laughs> They're the United States uh, national bird. Damn. And I've never seen Damn, one. Damn, your your team what? Is bold. Is, your team's mascot is an American bur- Well, the club the is Eagles, called Club America. The Eagles also yeah. <laughs> And the Eagles also on the Mexican flag. So I don't know. That's true. Yeah. I've never seen an eagle. They're big as fuck. I've heard like like their wingspan is like I never seen one either, but they're big as fuck. I've seen like the yeah. like, I've seen pictures. How big are they? Like comparison like, pictures. Like bro, like their their wingspan's bigger than mine. It's probably from this to like from that one to, to here. here. Yeah, it's, it's big. It's, it's pretty big. Yeah, and they they can snatch up little kids. Hundred bucks Dogs. to like choke one out. <laughs> <laughs> Suck one in the face. Yeah, but uh, um, <laughs> fucking little. Oh. Yeah, how do you got? How do you Chivas Chiva fans feel about that? Chiva hermanos, your you Chiva hermanos feel about that? Um, I, I just want anyone to come I, in this club and fucking play good. And I just want a star, another up, star. Like elevate. Jersey. The only problem is we're run by oh, and owners. then Chicharito too. You guys gonna have Chicharito too, but there's like a good morale boost. Yeah, but that's that, he's, he's that old head. Yeah, <laughs> he's, he, old head. he's gonna be more of captain vibes. He's not gonna. He's gonna be like, we got it. He'll Coach the, is right, guys. He's gonna be the captain. Well, in the, he's gonna he's the captain in the dressing sub. room. Yeah, he's I mean, a superstar. But I mean, I mean, for his posi- for like the position he plays, I feel like your age doesn't really come to like it doesn't matter too much because like he as long as that's he's explosive, well, you know, it's not that it's just it's, it's, it's he Liga. just knows where to be. It's he's Liga. a he's a it's good guy. Max, it's not that fast paced. So. His age won't really matter as much. It will matter still. 
but it won't matter as much because you know it's a slower paced league. And the way he plays, he just plays. MLS smart. is also He's slower not... paced. You know. MLS is fast. Mm. MLS is. MLS it's all, is fast, it's all counter attacks. Mm. MLS is like both <laughs> still have North a long there. way to go, of yeah. course. <laughs> um. Yeah, but I feel like he's going to be just the fox in the box type, of course, like he always he is. He always is. You're not going to count on him to fucking link up play or do anything I think like Kate Cow is the same position as him. I think they're both... I, know, I think he's on the left or right wing. Oh. Yeah. You know, you know what was my surprise one time? Hmm. The first time I went to a soccer game, I was a little older, and I realized how big the soccer field is. Like a professional soccer field. Really? It, it's bigger than a regular one, no? No, it's the same size. It's not. It looked so much bigger. For me, it looks so much smaller. Really? Because like... Nah, that shit looks ginormous, fam. <laughs> I know this was just trolling. No, no, I way. thought it's dead ass. No. Like, they're so much the, smaller. You know, you know, fields vary in very other in all the countries, basically. Like the sizes. Yeah, some leagues have them a little bit bigger. It could be like by inches or by like like meters. But yeah, yeah. dude. Some I fields always, are longer. Some fields are wider. The LA Galaxy Stadium made that shit. Like look depending ginormous. on what stadium it's you go, depending like on what stadium you go to, like in Europe, yeah. some some are longer longer fields. Some are actually wider fields. Has to just meet a certain criteria of how big it could be, basically. Yeah, game. yeah. Wow. Not every field is literally measured the same. I thought it was. A, yeah. I thought it's like regulations. There's regulation sizes where they have to be a certain size. But they can be yes. bigger. But depending on that, width or because if it's longer, it's gonna be the shorter. The area, the square footage has to be the same. Kind of, yeah. Because because uh, look up all like the the meter, how much, how big each stadium fields are, and they're gonna be different. Because I feel like a stadium, like a stadium field feels and looks bigger and i'm like we've sat in the front and i sat in the front like at the galaxy one too it feels bigger than the field that you guys would play at like the one we would play at like even the ones like in high school i don't the know the field they are. no they are they're they are bigger right are they? The, the fields are high way bigger they're smaller than stadium fields yeah, yeah bro the field the, the stadium fields i could not run across it that easily like i it would looks like a i would even encourage field. you to run at a stadium in high school from goal line to goal line and see how fast you can get there and then do, and then it, do it in a, a professional, a professional one and you'll see the difference i think it's wa- a lot bigger bro Interesting. I don't know how much bigger, but it is. Bigger. I don't. I want to check that out, but we it, should just check it out like in a video, make it fun. But also in more sports news, dun, 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 dun. Eagles lost. I told people that the Eagles were gonna lose seven straight games in a fucking row. I was fucking right. I still Send me my that fucking was, money. I still, I still think it was just a shock because they lost to the Bucks. They lost uh, for the Bucks. They lost six other games had before. A, that, didn't the Bucks have a nine and eight record? Yeah. Wow. But the Eagles they were lost com- to Baker but, Mayfield. But the, but the Eagles were coming off a, off a, off a one and six. Yeah, but still, bro. They, I just crazy. I just had a, I had a crazy feeling in the back of my throat, and I was like, nah, they're not winning for your throat. So much. You don't the, get those feelings. No. <laughs> so much for the brotherly shove. Yeah, fuck that. that was that play. the oh and uh, Rams out too? No, Rams out. Rams out by Damn. one point. I like yeah. when I like when they LA lost teams to are in Jared too. Goff's old team because Jared Goff was the Rams quarterback when they went to the Super Bowl the first time mm-hmm. against the Patriots, and they lost. That low scoring. Cool thing is, Bills game. are in the game. <laughs> Bills, huh? are, Bills are in. The, Bills are about to be in playoffs. They no, they won. No, exactly. But they're yeah, gonna. Be, they're gonna. Hopefully, they, we can see them. Chiefs of course right. won't beat the Dolphins. What about the negative Cowboys? negative four degrees? Yeah, I would have just said cancel this stupid. <laughs> you see the the beers they were drinking? Yeah, I caught his mother again. Yeah, I would have been like, bro, cancel this. Bro, you're going from Miami to negative four degrees? Nah, bro. Nah, <laughs> I don't know. Like, just switch the game to Miami, bro. Why are we even? I don't. Who gives a fuck about home field advantage, bro? At this point. That's Who's not it? advantage to anybody. I don't think it's no, advantage. I think, I it's think advantage it to Chiefs because they're used to yeah, it. I think, yeah, I think home field advantage is an advantage when you're used to playing in a certain yeah, type 100%. of field. Yeah, 100%. But I'm like, damn, bro. Like, you guys can just be like, all right, let's just do this in Miami, bro. <laughs> they could have done it anywhere. They could have done it at a close stadium. Oh, my God, bro. But what was your, what was your sports news? Sorry. No, just... that was a good one. But I, I know there's some other shit I was seeing on Twitter. I, I think it was the Cowboys that... They, they just, lost. They, they lost to it. So they, bad. All of these games, I think they were almost blowouts for the most part. Most of them, except yeah. for the, yeah. the Lions, the and Lions the and the Rams, Rams one. And I forgot which. I forgot that was the only one that was close. Basically, I like yeah. I like when LA teams are in the finals for stuff. Even though I'm not an LA fan, because then like the the the, the oh the, the hype and the, the hype in around, the city. around the area, yeah, 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 like like when like when the Rams won the Super Bowl a couple of years ago. Oh, the hype! We actually watched the, the entire game. Remember, we were here. Oh, I was here. I was Bengals. Yeah, we were I was, here. Yeah, I was at work, and then my homies invited me out to like a bar that was like right. Oh, you weren't here with the. No, I was I was out there in the OC. Yeah. It was so much fun, and I'm not even fucking. I like no, that. I know it, it was, was just lit. fun. We it's were just the energy. Yeah, yeah, it's like yeah. yeah. Like, we, we actually got into the game. We're like, come out! Yeah, <laughs> you get into the game. <laughs> yeah, because it's, uh, it's always we just kept hearing Rex. Third down. Third down. Third down. Who's house? Who's house? Rams house. <laughs> Who's house? Rams house. Yeah, that was good. Oh, yeah. yeah, that was the best one. Sorry to all you 
Dallas fans. I know we got a lot of them too. We got a lot of them. We got a lot of them. Hey, we don't guys boys. look. I'm gonna say this right now. You guys will not be as hated throughout the whole NFL if you guys just weren't the fan base you were. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. No one hates you guys as fans because you guys, of course, you're gonna up your team and be like, yeah, you know, you're gonna support your team regardless. But it's the fact that you guys literally say every single year, we don't our them. year. This uh, is our year. No, just a meme. This is it's just a meme at this point. You guys memed yourselves. Yeah. But we love y'all. Thanks for watching. <laughs> but also, but no, literally, I think that's the reason why people don't like um they 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 not they don't like Cowboy fans. They just love it's just that the meme. Cowboys lose. When they lose, yeah. When they lose because the fans always literally say every every fucking year. It's our year. This is our year. So they have We're the Super players. Bowl bound. We're yeah. Super Bowl bound. Oh no, they have a great team. They have a great team. But, but they just always flop. So what are they? Bro, compare, compare them to a soccer team that I would know. Like all that are like they bottle it all the time. Tottenham Arsenal. Damn. They would sucks. all like if they bottlers, yeah, the Cowboys. Bro, like they had one of the best records. Good quarterback. And they good, just good fumble. Oh, they're the Dodgers. They're basically the Dodgers. They're kind of <laughs> kind of like the Dodgers. They are the Dodgers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They then boys. It doesn't matter what their record, their regular season record is. Yeah. The Cowboys could have gone 17 and 0. They would have still lost. They're the still going to lose in the <laughs> They would have still lost the, the their first round of uh, playoffs. Even though it wouldn't have been a wild card game, it would have been a divisional round game. Yeah. But they would have still lost. When was the last way. time they went to a Super Bowl? They get to the Super Bowl, they'll still lose. They last one in the the last one was in the late 80s or the early Damn, 90s. Damn, for the real? 90s, right? Some the 90s, of these teams, right? yeah, in the yeah. 90s. Some of these they used teams to have, have a dynasty. Forever. So they had a dynasty for years, like a decade or so. And they won like five Super Bowls within like the 80s and 90s, I think. Around that era, era, they won like five or six Super Bowls. That's when they became them boys. Yeah, that's, that's when they, when were, they were them boys. boys. Yes. And then now they are, according to the, you know, the fan base, they're still them boys. They're, they're them kids. Them but no, no, no. no. Um, I do feel sorry for the fans because like they owe the, 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 like, the team themselves always like, like get their hopes up. And then they always let them down in that first round every, t- every year. I, I think every I always year. see them complaining about like the, the upper up people. Oh, Jerry Jones? I think so. I, think it's what yeah. I, see. I have some friends he's, I follow. I think he's the richest owner in the league, right? Something like that? He's one of the richest he's, owners in yeah, the league. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, bro, his, he, I think the Cowboys are, like, I think one of the top selling teams for any sport memorabilia. Yeah, a like, jersey, yeah, whatever jerseys, it is. Jerseys, they they every year everywhere. they sell the most jersey. Like, they, they're one of the teams that sell the most jerseys. They're America's everything. team. Yeah, that's why also people don't like them because they're also they're like wasn't my team the America team type shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's basically people don't like a lot of NFL fans don't like that they're coined America's team. Hmm. So they're like, nah, fuck that. We're just gonna hate them because they're coined America's team when no yeah. one even said this is America's but team. Not, but it's because it's America, Dallas Cowboys, Cowboys. Yeah, Cowboys. no, true. I get it. Um, but that's the reason why is I don't think anyone hates them because the fans. I know some people say, oh, I hate them because of the fans. The fans are just they're they're loyal, they're passionate. Is this just any other fan base? So you can't really hate on the fans. I think it's just that fact that they always say, this is our year. So that's why people just find it funny when they lose. Yeah. Well, this is our year for I am friends. (laughs) So hopefully it's our year. They're going to laugh at us when we lose. (laughs) They're going to laugh at us when we lose and shit. Yeah. Yeah. So no hate to any Cowboy fans. Just stop saying this is our year every year. And then I don't think you'll get memed. We can be like, maybe this is our year. Maybe. Be like, you know what? How about you guys just say, I think we have a good shot. Be like, I hope we try our best this year. (laughs) You just always got to say, we have a good shot this year. We might make it. We might make it. Yeah, I'm hopeful this year. I'm hopeful. That, yeah, yeah, there that, you go. That's it. But, and then, of course, Dak Prescott choking in, in the, when the occasion matters the most. Belichick Again, being fired. Belichick is gone. Pete Carroll. Didn't re- Pete Carroll retire? I think, he, fight, right? I think he Nick retired. Sa- Nick Saban re- a retired. Of leaving. A lot of people leaving. Three legendary like, coaches, dude. This is the end of the, a lot of dynasties. Warriors dynasty. Gone. Oh, in other sports news, you know how like the Super Bowl is gonna be in Vegas this year. Yeah, that's yeah. so lit. If you're going, Psh, that is fun. Can't imagine how packed that's gonna. Extremely expensive. Be. Aiden Ross is trying. Well, Aiden Ross asked for some seats. Like I think they're some sweet suites were like up to a million dollars. What? That's stupid. Yeah, they're like saying a hundred thousand per person. And what? you don't even know. And you don't even know who's gonna play. Yeah. Like, but hey, most times, only do most flex. times you've yeah. noticed it's for the flex, they're not even gonna watch yeah. half the game. They don't even know it. Most times, the Super Bowl, the gameplay itself is kind of like not that exciting. Sometimes, because haven't yeah. teams are very afraid. They're, they're very mm-hmm. cautious. And I think that's that's in a lot of like finals in any type of sport where teams are just very cautious. They don't really play the way they play. Yeah, because yeah. they're just not trying to get scored on yeah. first or whatever. So that's what I don't like about that. The, the fact that teams just play super cautious. They play super defensive. Super defensive. I'd, I'd hail marry that motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> Round one. Shut up. Okay, don't just lose. first quarter. First it's quarter. Like one play, 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 play. First and ten. It's first and one play. One play. One play. 
we hail mary it, we fuck it up. Okay, yeah. now we have to wow, wrestle again to catch hey, up. Intercepted. Hail mary can be intercepted. What do you mean? Bro, play the way you got. Not the there. way I play Madden. Oh my god. You route it to the Y, so you go you go forward so, and then you cut right. <sighs> In the pocket. So the reason why I brought that up was because um, I was planning a trip to Vegas like later in the like later like later in the year, and I was just curious like, oh, I wonder, how much, I wonder how much Miami. the rooms are. You should go to Miami yeah. instead. <sighs> Anyways, yeah, the, um, go to Vegas all the time. Go to Miami because I know Vegas, man. Anyways, but that's why you don't know the places. I right, go, on, go on. Anyways, bro. Imagine Miami. I bro, checked. Oh, I'm gonna go so fat now. I checked a room price for that weekend, and and I was like. For a standard, I was just checking through all of them, but I saw a standard room, a regular basic fucking room at the Caesars Palace that weekend, dude. Is that where Caesars stays? Was sold out. They were sold out all weekend. And they, I guess they had some rooms that were like, um, they like canceled their rooms on Friday. That Friday of the Super Bowl weekend, bro, one basic standard room was $3,900 something dollars. For a basic standard one king, one king bedroom. Bowl? I hate Vegas. February 11th. Oh, you're running right around fucking Valentine's Day. I hate hey, Valentine's that, Day. That's a basic standard like 380 foot square foot room mm -hmm. regular amenities three thousand nine hundred something dollars i don't even like the thought of vegas i've oh never partied God. in vegas that's because you think that everything's expensive in vegas when you literally no, it's because she lives there oh. <laughs> <laughs> i will we'll get started with our patreons oh, let me hug you. i don't i don't need i'm, I'm cold right now i don't want to that's why you're i'm cold. heartbroken i'm heartbroken let me hug you you're no cold. i'll get this number out dog Get a bag. Don't get make back. me Step get back. that number out. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, well, you know who's not afraid of ones? The people on our Patreon. Make sure you guys go check out on Patreon. It's a bunch of fun stuff out there. All right, we're going to start off with the sugar mamas and our sugar daddies. First Robbie. off, Andy, no love. What yeah. up, Andy? I hope you get some love, man. Robert, two hoochie. What's up, bro? I always wonder how hoochie he I is. Two. I bet he can get hoochie. I, I think he's he way too hoochie. hoochie. Hoochie Prime. Alex Galindo. What's up, Alex? Hey. Fidel, the billionaire menaces. What up, Fidel? Um, is he a menace? menace? Jonathan. What up, Jonathan? Jonathan. Breezy, what a loquita. What up, Breezy? Breezy, what a loquita. David Naranjo. What up, David? This guy's so orange. <laughs> Gloria Maravilla. Her what name up, is Gloria? Just so nice, dude. Gloria. Can you marry all three of us, on, please? Gloria, no, bring you. me Glorian. <laughs> Jesus Guzman Jesus. Jesus Maria Felipe Maria Maria Karencita Karencita I saw her I saw her husband yesterday at the gym wearing the Iron Friends hat. Oh, really? That's oh that, that was him? That was him yeah, yeah, yeah. I, It was I, one of the OG ones? It was the one with the tequila bottle Did you say what's up? <gasps> no cause he doesn't watch the show oh. it, He was wearing her shirt Oh you don't know that You don't know that I mean I mean I wasn't gonna Like we're working out bro You'd be like hey bro Be like hey bro Cool shirt I, hey bro too, where'd you get that shit? it's not like we were working out next to each other it was like i saw him that's cool bro you know it's fine bro it's weird bbl dahlia oh, that's, that's what we yeah. call a big booty latina right there pull up bottle service boom, 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 this man got a suite at the super bowl straight up yeah. man, he does have a suite at the super bowl for sure the super bowl yep. straight up every time he walks by a room the song just find me in the club Bottles full of bug. alvaro benitez alvaro we got Razor, Ramon, Hedges, Flores. What a Ramon. Weighing in 100 and something pounds of pure fat cock. Yeah. <laughs> Sandra Gonzalez. What up, Sandrita? What's up, Sandrita? Oscar Martinez. Oscar Oscarin. Oscarin. Kike. Y la novia Perez. No, Kike, no I am King waiting no for huh? that name change. No bro. more short King? Oh, no. Kike, el acoustic Perez. Kike. <laughs> Damn. That's what you get. That's what you get, Keeks. Kike, Damn. I'm waiting for that name change to be something super positive. How about Kike? No, I want him. It has to be something in his life that's actually happening that was like positive, so he changes his nickname. Mm. I don't know why he didn't share his email with us, though. I don't get it. Damn. What did we do to you, Kike? And next, oh, Liliana yeah. Juarez. What up, Liliana? What's up, Lily? And the man, OG. OG to the G him. of the G. Bradley Lopez Bradley. Martinez. Bradley, if you ever cancel this, I will find you in San Diego. 100%. I'll go look for you. If any of y'all can stuck if with any us of y'all cancel. Life. For life. If any of y'all Especially cancel. Bradley. Especially stuck. Bradley Lopez Martinez. If, if I know your whole legal name, son. <laughs> we gonna find you. If, if, I know, find you. if I know your whole government, bro. You hope hope, hope to God you don't have T-Mobile. I will you find won't. you. I will find you in the yellow pages, oh, man. I hope, I hope to God you don't have a cell phone. 
Yo. I will find you in Yellow Pages, bro. We're all threatening him. <laughs> <laughs> you better, yeah. you better hope you don't have T-Mobile. Any of y'all, any of y'all on this list, because <laughs> this man will find you. No, don't say that. <laughs> it's illegal. Uh, I'll find you regardless. Whatever. You're, Just I'll blur out you. when I said the name of the. We're thing. gonna follow the North Star. Oh, we'll you know, you. before I, I want to, I want to trip. I want to take a trip to Alaska, and see the Northern Lights. Oh yeah, that's hard though. After watching the the documentary, people be getting lost in the in the snow. I was like, that sounds fun. Yeah. I looked it up. Tickets aren't too expensive. Nah, but it's sometimes why is it hard it's not always there it'll be there when i go i'll plan it like people like you have to camp out for a minute to see it i've seen i've, I've searched I'm, i wanted to see it too i'd be down to go shit's hard let's go i mean i don't know what time of year it is when over there when it's like 12 a.m 1 a.m it's still like bright as fuck outside yeah it's summer summer i want to go during the summer that'd be sick imagine it's like 12 a.m that would trip me you're out, out in the club you're like out like in about in the, in you're, the you're bars. in the club in alaska you're, you're in your you're in the bars and you're just like because they have like outside bars where they it's on it's on like that on purpose that way you're yeah. outside while it's like still like night like yeah. daytime that would trip I was, me out. I, was, I seen that video i was looking at that i was like do i but if i go to alaska do i want to go camping like straight up like backpacking like full-on like medieval nah. or do i want to glamping but i kind of want to do the there's no of, way you nah. need like I need like two people, like two I mean, experienced people. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't go by myself. Yeah, the, the trip would be oh. just as expensive if I did the full adventure as yeah. to if I stayed at a hotel type of thing. I'm pretty no, sure it'd be it. just like, as expensive. What was the second option you had? Glamping. 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 I feel like that'd be a better option. Why? Because you're not experienced at all. Plus, with the cold, the weather, you tr and you the just people you're gonna invite, I'm pretty sure won't be experienced at all either. Yeah. So you guys are gonna be. My team is Rex and Hans. Tweedle Dunk. Oh, you're good. <laughs> You'll make it. <laughs> but. We'll actually let you guys go there. We'll continue this conversation on Patreon. So we'll talk more about Alaska on Patreon. So make sure you yes. go check us on Patreon. Or follow some me. other fuck shit. Yeah, follow me on every social media platform at Saul V. Gomez. Follow me at I know Caesar. Airbear underscore IE. And we'll see you guys next week. Peace. Bye.